What's up, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Value Town. I'm Jamie MV, and Gara's here, of course, and Lorinda's joining us. Yo. First time Lorinda on the show. How's it going, man? It's going good. I'm looking forward to a couple of hours of card reviews and talking to you guys about couple everything hours. Hearthstone, I guess. Yeah, let's hope it's not like a full couple hours here of talking about it. Well, you know. It. I'd love to, but you know, I don't know if our audience would love to, to sit there for, for 120 <laughs> minutes. I get this complaint, man. When it's 90 minutes, it's like, mm, just right, you know? But when it's like 120 over, then it's like, man, like, who's got time to like click on this and watch this for two hours, you know? So... <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to please everybody, but definitely happy to have you on. You know, your my my uh, British guest checklist is now you know got another notch under it. So definitely that list gets longer and longer, right? It do does. It does. We can't man. play the game, so we have to talk about it. <laughs> Sorry, boy. Uh, good stuff. Good stuff. Gara, how you doing, man? I'm doing good. Yeah. Uh, Better than yesterday, right? <laughs> okay. Better than yesterday. <laughs> Better than yesterday. That's all we. That's all we want to hear. That's our, definitely all we want to hear. Um, but yeah, guys, another uh, pretty crazy week. Uh, lots of cards, uh, and uh, this is a full week of card reviews. Uh, unlike last week, where we had you know maybe five days, four days. So we've got over twenty. I think we got twenty-five altogether, if you include this new one that Savich just just had to. Um, so lots to talk about, and to be honest, I don't think there's too much more going on right now to, to really, you know, uh, catch up on in terms of news and stuff. So I want to start off just, you know, obviously talking to Lorinda here, given that we've never had him on, and just kind of get, get up to speed with what you've been up to, dude. So, uh, yeah, what you been doing? Yeah, I just got back from Oslo last week for Ooh. one of the tour stops there. Nice. Which, um, a happy story for me, because I watched Turner, who won it, come from being this sort of quite nervous, good player who makes a lot of mistakes into this now very comfortable, solid pro. He still makes a few mistakes, like really silly gameplay errors, but his strategy is brilliant. And also Faley was in that final, mm. who okay. will know, he's been around the scene just forever and ever. And so nice to see him get to a final. So really nice story, that one. It's really strong field as well. So that was good to see. Yeah, how was um, Norway? I mean, I always, always hear good things about Norway, but I've never... Never actually been expensive. there. Expensive. Yeah. That's, see, that's what that's the one thing that, that or people say that the very the very first thing they say about Norway is that it's expensive and a lot of people didn't go because of how expensive it is over there. Yeah, so. I feel like I'm gonna get like Norwegian tourist board contact me <laughs> soon and tell me to shut up because I've said how expensive it is so many times. Oh, but yeah, it really is. I went to Kiev the week before mm -hmm. and it was fifteen times more expensive in Norway than 15 Kiev. Fifteen times Literally, not not exaggerating, oh, yeah. Oh various products you compare, yeah. It's ridiculous. Oh, holy smokes, so, man. That means McDonald's is like fifty bucks over there for a burger. Miz. It was <laughs> 14 or something 14 oh my for, god like the big mac oh, meal or okay, something like that yeah. okay that's a lot that's definitely a lot. literally really expensive <laughs> yeah, and then tomorrow yeah. we're casting copa as well uh the copa one which Come. has got a lot of really strong players qualified through the global qualifiers for that mm -hmm. so hct the tour stops going pretty well yeah copa this is the second one right yeah this, this is the second one, one already this is, yeah. okay this is the second one cool yeah they've been definitely doing their full series yeah, uh, really race the defending champion qualified again, which is some feat. So see if you can do it twice. Oh, wow, in a while. that's yeah, that's yeah. definitely not easy to do. So um, look forward to that. Where's that going to be? Is that's going to be on the Copa channel, or is that that uh, is on Copa America underscore E N for English one? Hmm. Okay. You'll find it. Just scroll around. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. All right, well, that's great. Now it's it's going to be, um, you know, I think this uh, this winter season just ending, and you know, there's plenty more to come, you know, in the the near future. So um, yeah, we'll keep trying to hopefully catch some of these events because I still feel like, you know, a lot a lot of the times it has to do with where they are, right? When it's like in Bangkok and the times are are tough, right. but you know, I still feel like a lot of people are missing these these events when they're happening, you know, and um let's get the events to start showing up on the client please or something something like that you know That'd on the, really the cool, battle actually, you know the yeah. battle net client you know something um, and the idea of these is to get more of the the smaller guys seen as well I mean, there's still yeah. massive names that get there but also see some of these guys when they turn up with their points at playoffs and stuff you know sometimes mm -hmm. we go how did he get all these points well now we get to see it but like you say if that yeah. was an in-game game button and client button you could click and say hey let's watch now that'd yeah yeah that'd definitely be great um okay well 
five minutes of non cards. I, I think that's probably good enough. Why don't we jump into some, some cards. cards? We definitely got some Q and A and stuff at the end too. But um, before we get started with that, I just want to <clears throat> let folks know that this episode is sponsored by ShipStation which is a, a great shipping service if you are a vendor and uh, we'll definitely talk a lot more about it uh, whenever we, we uh, uh, just, just kind of talk about a few cards first. Uh, also, you know, of course, Value Town is, is part of HS Replay now. So obviously go to hsreplay.net and uh, you know, check out some awesome stats. And we actually have a new article out too today. That's about, it's a fun article about Millhouse Mana Storm that uh, Bainey wrote. So you can check that out too. If you're ever curious about what the most epic Millhouse Mana Storm you know, turn has ever been, I think there's one that where somebody's spent over 60 mana on, which is like amazing, or at least <laughs> at least one mill house that allowed somebody to spend 60 mana for for, for free. <laughs> it's like a crazy, insane. Uh, but anyways, check that out. Uh, but we want to get right into these cards. So I try to divide these cards into at least classes so that we could have some kind of organization to this. So um, this one's actually one of the ones that came out recently. Uh, six mana, five five Toki Time Tinker. It's a mage card, legendary. Battle cry, add a random legendary minion from the past to your hand. It's like, what is the past? I mean, these legendaries <laughs> I used to dream about, like, <laughs> in, in the days <laughs> of. So apparently the past means in the wild format. Um, mm -hmm. And it's not limited to the ones that are just in the wild format, right? It's, uh, it's limited. It yep. just includes the ones in the wild format, right? Yep. Okay. Actually, Playhouse okay. has replied to Admirable, who mm -hmm. asked that on Twitter, and yeah. they confirmed it's <laughs> every legendary that will always be in wild. Okay. So this card changes when standard rotation happens. Oh, okay. This card changes when standard rotation. So it's just wild yeah. cards. Yeah. It's yeah. Just, it's it's just wild cards, right? Okay. Yeah. So it'll it'll just have like legendaries that are in all of Hearthstone. That's basically what this this means. Um, so okay, you know, so it includes Ragnaros, includes Savannas, includes like all some of our old time favorites, uh, but in the end, it's just a legend. So I kind of compare this to just any legend where you would you know just draw a legendary minion, um, just off the draw. So what do you guys think of this? I mean, this is a you know draw a card five five for six mana. I think random legendaries have got a reputation for have got like slightly worse over the years. Mm -hmm. So having yeah. old ones probably means it's better than we instinctively think. Mm -hmm. uh, from, from a design point of view, this card is great, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I think that people will have a lot of fun from this. It'll introduce people who are new to the game to wild and all that good stuff. As a card you play, maybe it has a slot in really greedy mage. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I mean, I, I like you said from a design standpoint, I think that this this card is the is this is the, this is the only card that play takes into account wild, right? Like that we have that yeah. can actually connect standard to wild. Uh, so they're willing it, to do that. It's something they do a lot. Is reminders that it's a virtual card game as well, rather mm -hmm. than a real life card game. Yeah, but like you couldn't do this in any physical card game. This is something they do that says, "Hey, we're a virtual card game. We can have fun with this." Yeah, but it's just cool to know that they're willing to do it. They're willing to yeah. actually somehow in include wild cards into standard. Yeah. So that, that's that's kind of nice. Like, uh, people s really seem to like this card from mm -hmm. what I've seen. Like, they're like, because all the crazy stuff you can do with it. Mm -hmm. And I think just from viability standpoint, the stats are just too weak for a six drop, I would say, moving forward. So I don't think, like, in just in competitive decks, you would play this card. It's, it's just because the average legendary minion is not too powerful. Mm -hmm. And now that you can get such a huge variety, like the RNG aspect of it is just, I think, um, yeah. Is the average legendary not that powerful though? If we include wild, I know the average legendary in standard is definitely kind of weak. But if we're starting to include Reno Jackson and Doctor Boom and stuff, yeah. But I think you still want the consist. I don't think you can play six mana five five when you can, you know, get like get Millhouse. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> wait, Millhouse is great. Wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> wait, does the classic actually count? If classic doesn't count, maybe it's better, because classic is still in the game. It's oh. not from the past, right? Actually, this is what I didn't know. Yeah. So if if cla let's say classic, make it more interesting. If classic's not in and current standards not in. Yeah. If it's only okay. yeah. If it was only expansion. if it was only wild, you know, like basically the the expansion. the difference between wild and standard, and only what's in wild only. That's uh, that's much better. That's like yeah. a lot better. <laughs> it's like way it better. Has, 
if it says from the past, you can't have like classic, right? Because we still play classic. Yeah, yeah. it's got to be cards that we can't play, right? That's kind of what it's saying. Then it won't be better. It's definitely better, right? Yeah. Or? Yeah. Is so I, I think I think what it does is, like, guys, I, I think what what it is is that it's it's all the think of it more like it's all the expansions that have been retired. So all the yeah. legends from that from those. Yeah, that, that, I think that's. I mean, it's the, called the right a time tinker, it. right? So mm -hmm. it's not very good time tinkering if yeah. you pull out a card you just played. So if that's the case, I, I mean, I still think this is pretty good. It's, it's hard to say if it's, um, you know, viable from a competitive standpoint because of how random it is. But if you're just looking at purely as a value card, you know, just something to this is just something to draw me something that that potentially has in you know even more value, then you know this is a pretty good card. You know, maybe something that you would play again like an Elise type of play you maybe you, you throw this kind of card we've never played elise in a mage or at least i don't remember an elise in a mage maybe we did at some point with big mage but um our big spell mage but i haven't I, in the recent future or recent history i haven't i don't remember an elise in it i mean the feel it feels about the same as syndragosa mm -hmm. just as a total yeah okay okay sure but but syndragosa is i think much better than this card because it has great sure. synergy with the Jaina hero power. Yeah, for sure. And it gives you two legendaries sure. and it has good stats, like decent stats. Mm -hmm. And it only sees occasional play. Yeah. So I think a card like this is just... So what do people love about it then? Like you said, a lot of people like this card. Yeah, because you can get Ragnaros and... and oh, crazy I mean, stuff. okay. So from a me, like from a fun yeah. like, standpoint, of course. Yeah, yeah. The flavor's great. Yeah. Like, it's like Lorindo was saying. The design's cool. But... um. Yeah, the viability of it. I'm not too sure about that. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's move on to, let's see, Hunter. Hunter had a ton of cards. It's like, this was the Hunter week. So we've got, oh, whoops, I think I got too many there. Uh, okay, we're going to show two first, and then we'll show three afterward. So we got Rat Trap. Another trap, two mana, of course. Uh, epic, secret. After your opponent plays three cards in a turn, summon a 6-6 six, six rat. I mean... I think it's a very nice tech card. And when you play this as a one off, it makes it harder for people to play around. And it could be like a very good meta card as well. Like, you know, if stuff, something like Miracle Rogue is yeah. like the meta or one of the strongest decks, then this is like, or like a Quest Mage, something like that. How do you play around this? It's almost impossible. Yeah, but at that and, point, when they're playing that many spells, isn't it too late? <laughs> like, you're in yeah, deep I trouble. That, yeah. Like, a 6-6 six, six at that point is probably not a, a huge yeah. play. Like, I'd rather say at end of turn summon a 6-6 six, six rat, so they can't kill it on the turn they're doing or whatever they're doing to play all these spells. I'd like the 6-6 six, six rat to be guaranteed yeah. to be there. But yeah. as it's not... But it's also free cards. Maybe, like, against an aggressive deck, playing free small minions is not... I have never really counted like the average cards my opponent plays per turn, right. but I'm pretty sure like a super aggressive like token paladin also plays free cards in a turn. Uh, in yeah. a turn, in the mid game, I, I guess you man. have. I I think it would have been much more interesting if it was played two cards and and then the rat was smaller. Then it's two p. No, no, the rat would be smaller. It wouldn't be like a six uh -huh. six, but because like playing three cards, that's easy to play around. I, I yes. feel like that's very easy to play around. I mean, cat trick uh, is, is hard, you know, like, but rat trap, uh, I don't, I, don't I, I, I think it's 100% like a tech card, right? If those mm -hmm. decks are meta that play a lot of cards in a turn, like Miracle Rook. Okay. Like a Miracle Rook has to play a lot of, like, yeah, oh, yeah. Gonna... They're going to do three in a turn, at, like, maybe, probably after turn six or something like that. That's what I say about a Wish It Serve on the Rat at the end of turn, because one of those cards, their fourth card is Sap. <laughs> yeah, so... and then just send it back, right? Yeah. But maybe that 6-6 six, six rat's only a 2-drop. Yeah, it won't be expensive, <laughs> I shouldn't think. No, it's going to be a 6-drop. Come on. We all know that. There's no yeah, way okay. it's cheaper. There's no way it's it's going to be a, a good deal to replay the rat. Um, okay, well, I you know I don't I don't feel like tech it's going to be a super strong... Maybe it's a tech yeah. card, but it, it still feels like a, a reach for people trying to play that one. It seems like yeah, all the rat cards, cards, except for Dirty Rat, it seems like all the rat cards have just been so-so. It's not a. I think as a tech card, you'd rather just play explosive, right? Anyway, yeah. You're scared right. of just dumping a hand. Yeah. But yeah, like you say, it's the sort of card you shouldn't forget about. So. Yeah. Yep. Uh, next thing we got Wing Blast. It's a four mana spell, rare. Deal four damage to a, a minion. If a minion died this turn, this costs one. 
Okay, so pretty easy way to get a discount on this. And, you know, obviously a one mana four damage is, is great. And, but uh, it looks like you have to hit a minion, though. So there's nothing that you can go face with. Is people going to play I feel that's one? the way forward for the deck. For like, mm -hmm. I think we need to look at this point of the expansion as a whole and say, this is the future of Hearthstone. They want us to hit minions with stuff. They don't want us to hit yeah. face. Yeah. Um, so I think this might be a bit more powerful than it looks at first glance because hitting minions, I think, is going to be a big thing. Like, I know it's a big thing now, but, I mean, it's going to be the absolute center of everything to be able to kill minions. So four damage for one mana, I think, is going to be really good. And I think you'll be able to set it off so easily. And from what I've seen is a lot of pros were, like, tweeting about how insane this card is. Like, okay, it's absolutely busted. And I think the reason for this is, obviously, dealing four damage to a minion for one mana is always good. Mm -hmm. And that's the point. It's always good. Especially for Hunter. And Hunter really struggles at controlling the board, I would say. You have the bow since the beginning of time. But besides that, all your removal cards are really bad. Hunter's Mark got nerfed. It's now one mana. It's like oftentimes very really clunky, but it's still like the second best removal card before besides Kill Command. So Hunter really struggles. I think quick shot rotation really hurt Hunter yeah. the most. Like yeah, you yeah. needed that. And four damage for one mana will be huge. Like it's always good, you know, you get your hymen out and then you, you know, maintain the tempo with re cheap removal cards like this one. You can combine it with the bow, you know, to take out big minions and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I think in the actual game, it will feel insanely powerful. I wonder, so I, I agree. I actually think it's one of the best cards in the set. I do wonder if sometimes you get trapped, so your opponent gets board control. And now you're stuck with this four damage for four mana in your hand because you've lost the board. You can't kill a minion this turn. Mm -hmm. And so... Maybe it snowballs against you that way, but overall, I think it's great. Yeah, I mean, that's the worst case scenario for the card. And I mean, with the best case but, being so good, it, it, it yeah, makes exactly. up for it. It has to, there has to be some element to it that's a drawback. I think that's a good alternative to just giving every class board clear, like insane board clear cards, right? Giving Hunter like very good individual single target removal. Well, it's like we saw with the, 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 ma the Mastiff too, right? I mean, I feel like they're, they're using different techniques to create this type of reset the board scenarios for Hunter, which Hunter's needed. You know, like we, we haven't gotten these crazy clear the board, you know, like um, psychic screams and things like that for Hunter. So they're doing it like in incrementally, mm -hmm. like with these more single target type of things. Um, so this card's great. The only thing I would say about this is, you know, when you get cheap cards like this, you know, there, there always is the issue of just running, just card power, right? Just running out of cards for Hunter. And we have Rockalar, you know, that, that we definitely have that kind of play these days with Spellhunter. But, um, you know, it might be more difficult to figure out how to, you know, have a minion die, you know, uh, without... Um, it, well, having a minion die and then using this to really get bored or... Uh, I feel like know, this is a super aggressive card, not really a defensive card. Oh, really? Okay, okay. So you play so a load aggro. of cheap stuff, then, then you just mm -hmm. kill their one thing that's in the way and just keep hitting them. Okay. It's all backwards uh, to how it first looks, but I feel that. But how do you kill that yeah. minion? Like, I mean, like if you have a, you I guess, one of your minions into it, a, you've got a real a, small one, one. Three, okay. five, you put a one, one in, wing blast it, hit them with the rest of your army. Okay. And then you just go all in right from the start. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, that this card, I think, uh, very few people have said this card is bad. So uh, I'm pretty, yeah. you know, I, I think uh, unless we're all wrong, which. That's very you know. rarely happened. It's, it's happened before, but it very, very rarely yeah. happened. <laughs> then uh, I think this card's going to be good. Uh, it's good. It's great to see that Hunter, you know, get some cool, you know, tools like that. Uh, some more tools for Hunter, given that we have three more of these. We've got four mana spell. We're just getting lots of spells, man. This is like spell Hunter, and we get into more spells. Mm -hmm. Dire Frenzy, common card, give a, a beast plus three, plus three. Shuffle three copies into your deck with plus three, plus three. So whatever you buff with this plus three, plus three, you'll shuffle three of those into your deck, like Kingsbane style, that they have getting a plus three, plus three on it too. So, um, you know, you'll get some crazy awesome card with you know, a lot of value in it if you can get to it. Uh, if you can get to <laughs> yeah, it. That, that's like this the theme of Hunter, if you can get to it. Yeah, I, I really don't like the design of this card. It's extremely powerful. It, it feels like the Nerubian Ambusher from Rogue, right? 
if you would play a mirror, uh, like yeah. you have to draw it. If you draw it, it's absolutely busted. If you don't, <laughs> you play a four mana plus three plus three buff. Yeah, uh, it's it. I, I don't like that the draw RNG aspect. Hmm. It really, is so impactful on how good this card is. Yeah, and we can't if draw you, as hunter right now, so it's it's like yeah, you can track, you can track. Uh, I think you okay, is sick. you can track one of these three guys. <laughs> Basically, I mean, it's gonna be insane, right? Whatever minion you buffed, and it, you should be able to play it the turn after when you spent one mana to track for it. Okay, sure. sure. It could be quite slow. Yeah. I think we're going to be in a slower world, so we have time, but I think it's going to be pretty slow. So I'm not convinced it's that great, but I can see how powerful it is if you get it going. I mean, it's it depends on how you hire, right? It's very sure. similar to the ambition. Like, if you keep drawing them, it's going to be insane. It will be absolutely busted. Like, if you draw them immediately, you it's almost guaranteed a win because you will play this in a, a minimum. In a mid range, like a mid range hunter for sure. Yeah, yeah. You kind of want that. You, uh, you kind of want to hit this on cheap, cheaper minions, right? Yes, for sure. Mm -hmm. And then like a Houndmaster, you play it in a deck where you play Houndmaster in. And the like new one or some. the old one? The old Houndmaster. Okay. You just puffing curve something on the board. Mm -hmm. You have like still kind of. Is it still in the game? Kind of going Well, Actually, you have to no. give it to a beast, right? So. Yeah, yeah. but in mid range hunter, you play beast till yeah. turn four. Oh, you're talking about like if we were you kind of the same for turn four play. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah. that's what you mean. Yeah, you just yeah. buff something plus three plus three and mm -hmm. whatever. And then if you top deck the minion you buffed, and it it's gonna be super insane power. Yeah, and then yeah. you, yeah. and then new spell will really help you with that game plan as well. So Midrange Enchanter gets like insane buff with this expansion. Well, I think you get a lot of value again. It's and, and yeah, if you can draw it, but again, we we have issues with drawing <laughs> with, with Hunter. You know, like there. Yeah, I don't that's know. That's why what I that say is. it's like I don't know what the drama mechanic league. is. Like, is it is it one of those cards that if it becomes a big part of the meta, isn't that hard to play around as well? Like, you just start killing your opponent's beasts and they're stuck with oh. this thing in their hand. Hmm. Could be. So at first glance, it looks powerful, but it's one of those cards. It's not hard to just say, okay, I'm going to kill your beasts yeah. and leave you on the. But that's up. what you kind of did against Hunter, anyways, right? Right. Houndmaster and kill command and all those. No, I feel that this is broken because of that. It's just okay. I don't, I don't think it's that good. <laughs> my, my my feelings is just I don't I don't feel like it's that good. Just because it's so situational, like you you have to have board whenever you're going to play this card, and let's just say fifty percent of the time we don't. Um, and th this makes this card fifty percent of the time only viable. And then when when you do land less it, less than fifty percent because we've got yeah. this in our hand. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I don't know. It's it's tough for me to see this working out super well. <laughs> But um, I'd love to see a world where this kind of card would be awesome because that means that's a long hunter game. The hunter game is probably going on for much longer than the average one goes on right now. Um, and uh, you know, like I think Emerus. If we just kind of jump over to em Emerus, I think that's like another card that's you know you, the classic designing designing a hunter card, which we've seen in the past, that gives you this crazy awesome cool value, but it's so late in the game. So this is a ten drop, a legendary Emerus eight eight dragon. Uh, battle cry double the attack and health of the minions in your hand so th i mean that's that's crazy right that's crazy amazing if you have any minions in your hand so i think it's impossible to assess this card uh, all my instincts say that it's terrible yeah like it looks really bad but i've just got this feeling that the new meta might be so slow that we should all of these cards that look slow we should put on some sort of watch list of actually with a, a, a asterisk of just like actually i think this doesn't fit in half that i know but I'm not sure that half that we know is going to be the same. Can, can I say something about this? Yeah. So first of all, we have a card card. It's Tolvir, which is not played right now. Uh, with the Diaphragms, you can buff a one drop. And with the Tolvir, you draw one drops. You can draw the buff <laughs> one drops. Okay, with the sure. Tolvir. But if you yeah. use something that has impact on the board, let's say Stontas Boar. Stontas Boar with a 4-4 four, four, a four, four Charger for one mana is really good to control the board. And if you play Tolvir on five and draw two boars that are 4-4 four, four Chargers, it's pretty good. Okay. Yeah. There's some. There's and, definitely something there. Yeah. Deck and building with MRS, mm -hmm. you can buff double their attack in your hand. Then you have like one mana, <laughs> oh. um, eight attack. Just saying. Yeah, Just saying. we shouldn't. We shouldn't joke either because Call to Arms has shown how deck thinning, as well as 
like rapid board standing is kind of big. Paladin so, has yeah. divine favor though, dude. Come on, man. It does. That's, like, yeah, that's, no. like, that, that's not even close. <laughs> I mean, if Hunter had divine favor, oh, I'd be loving this card. I'd be loving both of those cards. Like easy. But uh, hey, we can have Buzzard back. Yeah, I, I would mind it. Yeah. From 2014. Those, those, those are my favorite times. <laughs> when Buzzer was was super good. Um, so yeah, Emerus. I mean, if we have the pleasure of being able to play Emerus, it will be very very fun. And somebody just compared it to Don Hancho in in the uh, chat. I, it's not a bad example actually. And Don Hancho rarely got played. So uh, it's got to be considerably the meta's got to be considerably slower for us to be able to do that. Uh, kind of finishing this off. We've got a uh, last card here. It's a rare card, three mana, two five, Dusk Haven Hunter. So it's in that kind of Dusk Haven uh, family or whatever it is that we've, we've been seeing. Uh, each turn, this is uh, in your hand and it's stealth. Swap its attack and health. So looks uh, fun on the coin. Uh, five two stealth on turn two. two. Yeah, seems kind of good. Seems like it would trade uh, anything. <laughs> with yeah, just kill your next turn. Um, yeah. I think it's another good design thing in that we're going to have to really think about the card. I suspect it's not good enough, but it it's a three be. drop. It's got to be, if it's going to be a three drop, it, it's got to be real good for it to be. Played. Stealth's good. So stealth's good. They they've nerfed a lot of stealth stuff over time, sort of either directly or indirectly by nerfing things around it. So, but Hunter is so many free mana cards. That's what I mean. It's like it's the yeah. power slot for Hunter. So. This has got to be like, insane for it to be be played. Cut cuts like the, the the red pack and the bear shark. Like a lot of these cards didn't make the cut just because sure you're, you're too this stacked. It's on... crazy, yeah. Like bear shark not being played. That's gosh, you know. <laughs> like I think like, a lot of people... happen, right? Yeah, that's crazy. Um, like it can't. I think if this card was a beast, I think that it would be played. Oh. Like no yeah. question, oh, yeah. it would be played. Yeah. Uh, the fact that it's not a beast, it's like, oh, man, that could have been such it's an awesome with card. Hound Master seems a little bit too OP somehow. Oh, it needs OP. We're gonna, hey, we're going to get to Emerus. It, it needs to be OP. Sure. <laughs> so, uh, okay, well, I, yeah, that one's uh, yeah, kind of questionable for me as to whether it'll be played. Um, okay, Warrior. We've got four Warrior cards. Let's see, if, uh, see how Warrior gets. Oops, that's not it. Let's see how Warrior gets helped out here. Got a couple legendaries, starting off with a 7-mana Black Hal Gunspire. It's a 3-8 minion. Can't attack. <laughs> That's all, never a good start. Can't attack. Whenever this minion takes damage, though, deal 3 damage to a random enemy. So it, it I'm is... going to stop saying this later, I promise, but I love the design of this card as well. <laughs> okay. um, I don't recall a card like this being printed without taunt before. But okay. it has virtual taunt. Unless they're actually killing you the turn you play it, they've got to do something about it. Mm, like, so really? they can still hit you in the face for 20 and just ignore it, but the fact it just sits there, they know you're going to do stuff with your, your garage, your whatever next turn, and that you're going to do a lot of damage to things. If you put this in your deck, you can activate it. So they've got to find a way to take it on their terms. I think this is interesting. Uh, yeah. Gar, what do you think? I think the problem with this card is what kind of deck would you play? In? <laughs> That's yeah, yeah. I, I think like, um, <clears throat> just the current deck, honestly. I mean, it's just it's going to involve the board, Garrosh. just keep shuffling whirlwind effects in and Garrosh and everything every turn, and off you go. But it's... it, what purpose? Like you're not trying to burn anyone down with Warrior. It's just like a card that's there. It it attacks a random target. It's just weird. It would, it would be much more, it would have been much more fun in a bouncing cost. it'd be a much more how, fun how card powerful. bouncing blade a world with bouncing blade in it but yeah um, you're not going to yeah. defile this either <laughs> you're not going <laughs> to defile it anyway so I mean, I know, you know, you, yeah exactly yeah, right? it's like you're not going to do that for sure but um i mean to gar's point it's like okay may, maybe you do some damage to the face you know maybe you remove the board yeah. and and warrior already has a ton of ways to remove the board yeah. so yeah i'm not sure exactly and it's slow as well yeah. you you need an entire turn seven to just deploy this card yeah, i don't you... know why it's legendary either i think if they want this card yeah, it needs to be epic. Uh, it kind of makes i mean i'm not surprised it's a legendary or an epic the way it's designed um how did they choose three attack for this? 
Yeah, like, <laughs> that's the first like, like, yeah, yeah, it's like, like oh, I see. Is it just arbitrary? Yes. Yeah, like, <laughs> so, like, I'm not I, even sure how how they give this thing an attack. I guess they want things that trade into it to die. They don't. Yeah. The, the idea is it's mowing yeah. down the little guys. I think that's the idea. Whether it's going to work or not is different. And so, if the little guys want to charge into it, it's like going to be some sort of suicide rush on the tower. Is the image? In my but mind. you would never do that, though. Like if if you're a paladin, no, you, I think you would never you charge your guys that. into that thing. So, but if it's zero eight, you might. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. You might decide to take it down. So maybe they made it yeah. just big enough that you wouldn't do exactly what you said. You just don't want to kill your guys into it. You've got to find another way through. Yeah. It's, Again, I'm not sure it's going to. It's an intriguing card. I just don't know if this is the right you know, execution of the card. Um, but it'd be, it'd be cool if you just slam the card down and all of a sudden this tower just rose from within the, the card. That would be pretty sweet. They need, they need to start going into that type of animation. <laughs> That'd be, be, be awesome. Uh, yeah. So we'll see if this adds some kind of, may, maybe some kind of finishing move for, for our warrior uh, that we just can't, are not thinking of right now, but no. who knows. Darius Crowley the next legend we got here five mana four four rush whenever this attacks and kills a minion gain plus two plus two so this is um this is like the enhanced boogie monster for for warrior <laughs> boogie monster but maybe better so um what you guys would think it depends how good rush is it depends how much that minion trading we've talked about is important because i think rush is good mm -hmm. i think we're gonna be trading minions more I think this guy survives most of the time. So he's two for one. It depends if he's too slow or not. I'm sitting on the fence because I'm not quite sure how to. Uh, he takes down two guys a lot of the time, but is he quick enough? It's it's good. Yeah, definitely good. Also, Colento said it's very good. It's it's a good card. <laughs> After Colento said it, it's, it's just that guy know? guaranteed good. Uh, five yeah. mana for four charge is really good. Yeah, I I agree. I like it. And that you get a buff. That's a huge upside. I have to yeah, it. It, it just does it again turn after turn mm -hmm. like. it's potentially infinite right like i'm like in love with those kind of cards <laughs> i'm in love with like for some reason you know i'll have these moments where i just throw in gruel into some big deck you know and just try and stuff because i there's something about the 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 um kind of boogie monster effect in this that are intriguing and, and the thing about boogie monster which you know of course is a meme is that it needed a rush like i, I think if boogie monster yes. had rush that then that card would have been actually interesting and possibly played this is basically that you know and, and i think the real question is whether the health is is and you too can, low you know like i you think that protects good mm -hmm. no if the health would be high it would be absolutely broken mm -hmm. yeah. it has to have like this low health yeah but it's yeah. very good and it's the five mana slot is also not so good especially for warrior mm, yeah then having a powerful card for five mana is super awesome and it works in curve with the weapon so you can protect it as well or try to protect it it's a super powerful card yeah it's a recurring theme that they actually their, their weakest cards, they come back with the same effect much better. Yep. Once, once they've worked out, hang on, this doesn't work because... It's good. I like it. Yeah, I mean, I like that progression. It, it just shows that, you know, they're they're reviewing their old cards. You know, they clearly told us that they're not going to change old cards. So if they are going to, you know, iterate on them, you know, it's good that they're, they're figuring it out. And R Rush is an iteration on charge... And, you know, with this card, you're kind of seeing that, you know, and, and seeing the, the powers of it and make, making some of these old effects um, viable. So uh, I'm excited to see this card. This is like probably one of the few warrior cards I'm super excited about and that could really, really help the, the class. Uh, but uh, moving on, we've got Deadly Arsenal Epic 6 mana spell. Reveal a weapon from your deck. Deal its attack to all enemies. I mean, my instinct I... is, what are the weapons going to be? But we can already see they're going to be woodcutter's axe. Um, yeah, so I mean, the ability for warrior to clear a board is obviously ridiculously I... powerful. I... Yeah, but yeah. it depends <laughs> how many small weapons you're playing. All right, Gar, I'll let you go first on this one before I go on this one. You ha you have to play only expensive weapons yeah. for this card, and that's the problem, right? Yeah. Um, what good expensive weapon is warrior playing? None right now. You need to play uh, the, the 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 scow weapon for eight mana, but you cannot yeah. play only that. So you have to play the. Um, so you play Arcanite Reaper, and now you're playing an aggressive deck, and you're blowing up all your minions. 
I, yeah, at least Arcanite I, Reaper. It has to be the cheapest weapon because of then it's better than a flame strike for six mana. But you are hitting also your board. Right. Uh, so you want it in a, either you want it in an aggressive deck with a, with the big weapons, but then you blow up your own board. Or you want it in a control deck, but then you need the small weapons to control the early board. I mean, maybe dealing three damage to everything for six is a kind of flame strike isn't as bad as we think. But yeah, it, of course, it's good. But the problem is, Warrior hasn't good doesn't have good weapons. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, you, you need good weapons, good late game weapons for this to be good. That's we will have two more years of this card in the rotation. That's worth noting. Yeah. No, seriously, like in, in two years' time, this might be the best card in Warrior. But right now, we don't have the weapons to back it up. Uh, I mean, I guess you could be right about that. I mean, it could be really, really great later, but man, this card makes no <laughs> sense to me. Like, you, it's, with what Warrior needs right now, which is not board removal, like, board removal is not that big of an issue for, for Warrior. So, incrementally, you know, relative, in, just increase in power by get, having this. It's like the same thing as the Lord Godfrey was for, for Warlock. It's like, they totally don't need this card, so like, why did you add that? And then on top of that, the design of it is just like, is just strange. You know, it's like we right now we don't like to play too many weapons in a control warrior. Big spell warrior. Yeah, I mean, like like Gorhal, right? We play Gorhal, and um, you know, we could miss Gorhal. Like, let's say we just have Gorhal in the mulligan. This card is completely worthless. Yeah. So you have to play at least three weapons, and that's like, what kind of deck plays? three big weapons like nothing except for face type of I mean, uh, warrior there's again there's this proviso with all of these cards that dead man's hand is a card so yeah setting up situations is a thing that could happen but again i'm just making a case yeah. for a medium looking card at best mm -hmm. yeah this <sighs> one i'll give you it has potential in the future but i just have no idea like what yeah. people would do with it right now it's it just doesn't seem that good maybe they played instead of like a sleeping sleep of the fishes or something but then they have to add some weapons to your hand so it's six mana too that's a lot that's that's not not an easy play for them um okay well, yeah, maybe there's yeah. another weapon in this expansion yeah for maybe maybe there's something else that's just like an auto play so this card <laughs> all of a sudden it's it's axe. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, maybe it's problem, woodcutter's right? axe, guys. Two mana, so you can clear two mana for six. You can put, you can do like a what power shot for six mana here. No, yeah, that um, you have both of these cards in the same expansion is it's pretty weird, right? Yeah, you have to you have to remember, one. guys. Like, it's not only clearing your your opponent's minions; it's literally clearing your own minions too. <laughs> so it's like, um, all right. <laughs> That's, if if uh, you look at all these four cards, like you would play them in four different decks. Yeah, right? I know exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you wouldn't clear your Black Hal Gunspire with your Deathly Arsenal. There's a chance you don't actually kill that thing. Uh, Woodcutter's Axe is a two mana two two weapon. Death Rattle give random friendly minions with rush plus two, plus one. I think I've been more positive than you guys so far, but yeah. I can't on this card. <laughs> I just don't. Okay rate it at all maybe it's better than i think mm. but i don't like it at all i don't i mean obviously it depends on what else comes out but with a wasp and then even with darius i i suspect there's gonna be another rush card for for warrior coming out i don't maybe think the this card's that bad is more relevant like yeah i don't if I don't the plus know. one makes your rush card survive instead of die and then survives another turn and you kill something with because you maybe can set up a three for two Warwick's died for this. Warriors died for this? <laughs> well, War -X. War -X died. Oh, Warax died for this. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's all you can yeah, see when you yeah. look at it, right, is this isn't Warax. Yeah. I don't know. I, I see the Wasp-Woodcutter combo as pretty good, if you have the coin. I think that's a, a pretty good uh, one-two punch right off the bat. For, from what I've seen is people think this might make, like, any some sort of aggro warrior viable again, just because it's a weapon. Like you would play okay. any two mana weapon uh, in any aggro warrior for sure. Okay. I mean, it, like, it makes a it makes a wasp a three four that can change into possibly a six three or a six two. I mean, and then you have the 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 weapon to trade or or remove anything and, and let that thing hit through the following turn. So, 
I don't know. I, I feel like a one two turn. That's a pretty powerful one for Warrior, which it's lacked for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. But um, we'll have to see if, if there's another card. Like if there if another it, it one almost, drop or two drop comes out with Rush, this card could be really good, like yeah. crazy good. Sure, like if you can get that mm -hmm. plus one could turn your one one Rush guy into a three two Rush guy. That that mm -hmm. can make a big difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's weird that it's death rattle though, right? A little bit. It would be better if it's battle cry for oh, sure. So they want you to play it and attack oh, and then rattle. kill something and attack and hope the thing's still there. And a lot of the time, your uh, rush buff isn't even going to have something to hit into. Yeah, that's true. Oh, it's death rattle. I was thinking it was battle cry for some reason. Oh, that's a yeah, that's a pretty big difference then. So it, it really is meant for like a, a Darius more than it is for like a wasp. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I get the feeling this is a a bit oh, you played it first with Darius for mm -hmm. for yeah. newer players. Yeah, you play this first. Oh yeah, you play it first, Fred Gar. You're right. Yeah, you, you play the weapon this out. first and yeah. attack, and then yeah. then you play the wasp. Wait, the wasp will become a four four. No, it would, it would be a three four, and then if you if it hits yeah, something, three, four. and then it would be a plus three attack, right? Then it would be a six three or or six two or something like that. Maybe it's good, I but it's... what kind of deck would that be, right? It, like in yeah. general, like on paper, it's not bad, but mm -hmm. we don't have such a deck right now. Yeah, there's no there's no mid range, tempo ish type of warrior right now. You know, outside of pirate, and pirate has no synergy with this right now. So. Uh, I think Warrior needs a good 6-drop and 7-drop that is aggressive. Mm -hmm. Kind of like we had with the Dragon Warrior. Mm -hmm. The Dragon Tempo Warrior. We had like Draconic mm -hmm. uh, Crusher. Yeah, it was like a nice. Yeah, as well at one point. Yeah, yeah. yeah Malcor Like, this is, I think, what Warrior needs as well. Mm. Yeah. Kind of like something spicy on 6 and 7. <laughs> spicy. That would be really good. Um, okay, well, uh, let's see. What else we got here? Okay, so that's Warrior. Now we're moving on to Warlock, and we're starting with, uh, which one are we? Is this Warlock? Shoot, I'm, I might have, be a little confused here. Witching out. Wait, what do I have here? I have Witching Hour? Oh, am I doing Druid now? Okay, never mind. I lied. It's Druid. <laughs> it's Druid. Uh, so Witching Hour is a three mana spell, rare. Summon a random friendly beast that died this game. So it's gotta be good, right? We got the beast druid theme again. <laughs> We're gonna make it work, boys. No matter what what it takes. So um I think it's gotta be good. You've got a lot of control over what beasts go in your deck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The three mana druid can draw cards. I think one way or another it becomes good. I don't have anything particular in mind exactly, just it just has to be good. Okay. You think it's just going to be good? Like, what kind of things will we throw in it? Like, bitter tide. <laughs> but no, okay. I mean, you've got the mana, you've got the card draw. You can you can mess around to your heart's content till you yeah. find what works. Like, you can go with big stuff. You can go with medium stuff. I mean, it, it's three mana, so obviously, cl clearly, you would want something that's going to, on average, give you much better value than three mana. Because, uh, but would a can can you play a beast deck, Gar? Like, without playing the ravens and you know some of these low cost beasts that you would want tempo with i think you just want to have a few big beasts but i'm mm -hmm. looking up right now what are the good neutral beasts uh Drit has no good oh 312 man beasts. for sure i mean that's a good yes yeah, grimly 312 for sure that 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 neutral oh, guy that guy really oh yeah yeah, yeah 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 he's yeah, gonna be that's... big no matter what wow. he go and, and then when I you summon actually... him he's 312 so he's, he's the stupid recurring tiger deck that i absolutely hate and you ramp it out as well wow yeah, like... yeah that's strong man yeah. that's pretty strong. okay this this card is really good <laughs> yeah yeah it's really good yeah i think so too i think they're, you're gonna get some great value yeah, it's, you it's, just need... it's how do you, you build the beginning it's, how do you build the front of your deck and then how do you build your, the end of your deck but yeah. the middle is it's taken druid. care of. It's just druid. You draw cards, make mana. Off you go. Yeah, infestation. And I, I think. End. I think from all the classes, <laughs> yeah, sure. druid, druid is actually the most flexible one in how to build a deck. Yeah. We've seen like so many different yeah. druid builds just because you can put in ramp and then play whatever. You know the yeah, colento like druid. Drawing cards. If you don't have them, you just draw your fifteen core cards, and off you go. You, you're going to find mm. your deck. Yeah. I mean, the only thing I would say about this card is that you have to remember it's summon a, a friendly beast that died this game. So, 
it's not something you can play too early, but you could play it as early as turn six, which which would be pretty powerful given some of those those cards that are in turn five. So um, yeah, I, I like well, this card. A card draw. You can you can afford to have a card wasted in your hand for two or three turns. I think it's mm -hmm. fine. That's what we ramp for, right? So like compared to the hunter thing we were talking about earlier, yeah. where you're saying, well, it's too slow. This you can just keep it in your hand. Well, it's, it's druid. You know, druid cheats. Like it's exactly. actually not eight turns or ten turns. It's it's more like yeah, six sure. or seven turns maybe. Uh, so yeah, great, strong card there. Uh, next we got uh, two legendaries, starting with five mana three seven dusk fallen, Aviana. Kind of interesting name. Uh, the favor. first, yeah, the first uh, card each player plays each turn costs zero. So um, both you and your opponent get a chance to to play a free card so um and your opponent goes first no because this is the first oh. card you played this turn oh <laughs> well, i didn't even think about that was basically Ooh, that's terrible uh it's, it's likely really bad it though okay but let's think about it. cheat a bit so against aggressive decks does it really matter that much no i mean they, they play like two two twos or something instead of or an extra two two or something oh yeah. that's a good point yeah against the aggressive uh, but it depends if they can kill it right it's bad if they can kill it if you get to play your minion oh sure yeah then it's good but if they yeah. get to play some stuff and then kill it then it's really bad yeah, yeah it's basically a taunt. The next card is soul fire then sure yeah yeah it's a taunt i mean it's basically like a taunt in that scenario which does very little damage <laughs> so it's not it's very very bad uh, so it's, is there something so it's we're missing dust, here? It's it's dust fallen, Aviano. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's, it's, <laughs> I think I can't. No, it's disagree. actually really bad. So, uh, think about it. It's really Aviana. bad. It's actually really bad. Are we sad to see a really bad druid legendary though? No. I don't think we're. I sad feel like we're missing something with this. No. Are we don't missing. That's anything? the idea. That's they've got you. That's what they want you to do. <laughs> That's exactly the point of the card. Is there something with swapping decks or something? Something that no, that's, I'm missing That's the point here? of this sort of yeah. card, is for people to go away, they get it in their pack, oh, they think, man. oh, I've got this that's card, okay. what do I do? It's, it's just not like everything okay. isn't aimed at tournament players. Dude. I like the name Dustiano. <laughs> Dustiano. <laughs> okay, yeah, that would be pretty good. This so is like definitely a legend that you do not want to see when you open when you see the orange explosion. This is not what this is not what you want to see when you when it comes. The, out the problem is you can't combo with this card as well in some combo deck because this is the first card you play. Yeah, yeah, true. Like how yeah. do you do that? Give it stealth. Yeah, yeah. but then your opponent is it as well. <laughs> I, it's like. I mean, Tempura saw play for the tiniest time where people were playing Inner Fire Priest, and they just go Tempura, you can't kill me. And then I'm going to kill you in two turns, whatever you do. But this, they just kill the Aviana. And it's like, oh. <laughs> accident! Accident! Oh, God. It's yeah, crazy. It's, it's like, oh my God. it's very optimistic. No. It's it's, it's very, I, I think it's beyond optimistic. <laughs> it's, it's like your opponent has to fall in out of his chair. It's <laughs> kind of optimistic. <laughs> uh, okay, next we've got Splinter Graft. Uh, it's an eight mana legendary eight eight battle cry. Choose a friendly minion. Add a ten ten copy to your hand that costs ten. That's that's do that's do big chunks of stats ever really work? It's like no, no, how hard they mana. try. <laughs> the first thing <laughs> that I saw was like, oh, you can make your ancient of war a, a ten mana ten fifteen pogus. Ten mana. Yeah, 10, right. 15. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Are <laughs> oh, you making a stone has poor a ten ten charge? Okay. Yeah. But it's ten mana. I mean that's the yeah. killer. It's like we've seen this kind of design for one one things, right? For one mana. Yeah, no, honestly but the best combo so I've much seen. Different. Yeah. The best combo I've seen was with Kuhn, but Kuhn rotates out. Like you play this with Kuhn in the same turn, then you get Kuhn back. Then it, you basically have a zero okay. mana ten ten Kuhn. Oh, I see. So yes, we have to watch for that. So we have double, like double cool, basically for yeah. free. But yeah. it rotates out, so in standard, it's I don't know, like maybe, maybe. But the thing is, Druid ramps, right? So you get it out faster than just you know regular eight mana eight eights. Um, but I mean... it has to be stealth or something like that, like something uh, reliable to you know. 
Do I've got better really things if I want to do on turn 10 than play yeah. a 10 10 copy of a card. I yeah, you have the problem is ultimate. Yeah, exactly. You, you have ultimate yeah. infestation. You have the best 10 mana card in the game. Like, right. you really have I'm trying something. to think of what, just, what kind of text on some of these druid cards are just unbelievable. I mean, everybody thinks about like Lich King and Yasser and stuff like that, of course, but. Malgus. He's going to take you out with something like Nazoth that has a great game impact, and then you just do a great game impact again. You save it for another four turns, let them deal with the first one, and you do it again. So you want to copy another 10 drop that's already just good. And just use it as an 8-8 that copies a card that already costs 10. I mean, with, with Giants, right? If you play Giants with zero? Yep. And if a giant gets uh, cost ten, uh, he, he, yeah. it still gets reduced. It's kind of like a buff, right? Yeah, another it Naga Sea Witch. <laughs> another Naga Sea Witch abuse. Uh, is it though, right? If no. you if you copy a mountain giant, it is cheaper, right? Then yeah, it is cheaper. It's like two cheaper, right? Or no, more than two. It it's uh, no, it is no, it's two. two cheaper. It's two cheaper. I'm thinking of a uh, molten giant. Um, so, yeah, so nothing that's just I like mean, no brainer, super great that I can think I mean, of off the top. It's getting two cards that are buffing hand read, right? Like the the one that gives you like two free trans in your hand. Yeah, yeah. And then maybe hand buff hand druid is a thing, and then you play like giants. I mean, you play giants in druid, might as well play this guy and copy some giants. And yeah, but mm -hmm. that doesn't. Two I mean, giants. you copy a giant, you have a ten mana, ten ten giant. I mean, that's not. No, it's not ten mana. The giant, it costs ten mana, but the oh yeah, yeah, but again, reduction. Okay, yeah. So the mana, it's, it's like a two it's, mana. It's, it's, 10, yeah, 10. so it's 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 cheaper. Sure, I, I'll give you that. So it's an extra giant in your hand. Um, yeah. Okay, maybe that's the best. This is pretty good implementation. Yeah, of it. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Such a deck. I, I don't think you can play like a hand lock without board clear, and three doesn't have board clear. So I, I just don't see that happening. Yeah. So um, that kind okay. Of yeah. Pretty interesting. I there might be some card with a te with text not out there that we just don't know that's insane like if it had mm -hmm. if it had something like 10 health on it just living a turn would just be in, in remarkable but there's well, definitely cool cards in the game but i'm not sure right. if it's if those I mean, are in standard yeah the way to test is to go through all the 10 drops that have low stats and why would you want them to be bigger because if it's a 10 drop that's a 5 7 like nazoth or whatever mm -hmm. they're the ones to search through in the collection to find out which ones have actually got massive yeah. effects under statted it's yeah. a quick way to find them all. I mean, the minion has to be living on the board too, unless it's like a one or two drop, right? Right. Like, so there's there's a there's trick there's definitely an element to that too. But um cool. I mean the fact that we're talking about it for a few minutes, you know, the like five minutes here is, is a good sign that it's a That's cool what this design. set's been good at, actually. I mean, I don't think the power level Imagine... is necessarily that high, but all the cards are interesting. Imagine like with Shade of Naxxramas, it, it keeps growing, and then you play this, you copy <laughs> it, and then you start a second shade already yeah. on ten ten. <laughs> yeah, absolutely okay well guys gonna take a mini break you want to give a shout out to our sponsor today ship station which is a, an awesome uh shipping service if you've never used it it's a it's a website that um if uh, folks that are vendors that or you sell a lot of your items on things like shopify uh, squarespace etsy big commerce and WooCommerce, and, and or even any of those other, you know, sev over seventy-five other, you know, uh, popular selling channels, you can use ShipStation as your shipping option, and it's really easy to set up on on each of these sites, and um, it's it's very straightforward. And how to, um, you know, just again, like have your um, uh, any any of your items that are going to be shipped, or you know, the people that are buying it, then they can actually use you know UPS, FedEx, U USPS. And uh, you'll be able to print out your shipping labels and put these on the packages, you know, that you're going to have to ship to these folks that are buying your stuff. So um, ShipStation has been really, really great about it. I have actually tried it out. I uh, tried it out yesterday for the first time because I had to ship something. And uh, super easy to use. You can actually try out ShipStation right now for uh, free 30 days uh, on top of the free month that you get. Uh, so if you use the promo code ValueTown, if you go to the site right now, ShipStation.com, there's a little see my ad with a little microphone there. If you click on that, put ValueTown in, you actually get two free months to try this out. So um, yeah, any any big vendors out there like selling stuff online, give ShipStation a try because they are uh, a really cool service that you know even I, I myself has been I've been getting to to uh, know a little bit more recently. Um, maybe one day we'll have ValueTown merch and we can just go like go to town with like ShipStation, but. I've always like never pulled the trigger on Value Town merch, so maybe one of these days we'll we'll get to the point where we can do that. Uh, okay, well, why don't we get back to some Paladin cards here, which is uh, Paladin. We don't have too many Paladin cards. It's 
it's how many do we got here we got <clears throat> uh two i think yeah two i mean my order on our notes are is completely wrong dude I don't know what I was doing when I was <laughs> making these notes. Okay, Paladin, we got Cathedral Gargoyle. Uh, two mana, two, two, battle cry. Uh, if you're holding a dragon, gain taunt and divine shield, and then it's a, an epic card. So um, this is like, God, it's like. Um, I think a lot of these cards are like in the wrong expansion. I mean, this. <laughs> this I mean, this sounds kind of like bristle, you know, like... It's so good if we had dragons, but... Like, the dragons <laughs> that's true. Up. But yeah, that's the point, Yeah, right? yeah, that's true, yeah. Yeah, but then it, it won't see play. Like, it's... It, there's no point. Like, there's a point, but there's not really a, a point. Like, why why make it now? Like... We don't have the dragon dragons. that gives you the 1-1s, the one ones too, right? The 2, 3, and the 1-1s one no. anymore? That's gone, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. You've got, like, Fairy Dragon, Twilight Drake... Yeah, but we don't that, want sounds, that sounds cards. basic deck, dude. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, yeah, exactly. You don't want to play bad cards to make like a card decent. Yeah. That's but again, problem. there's 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 cards that are relevant not for tournament players, not for top players. So yeah, you've got your small collection, you open this, you play your fairy dragon deck, you're happy. No. I'm not saying it's good at making a case. I don't know. So we we used to Some think minibot was great, right? So yes. this is basically minibot, but you have to have a dragon deck. But and it has taunt. It's better than minibot. Yeah, it's definitely right, yeah, it's and really taunt. Good. Yeah, so there's something between it's, minibot and and burn bristle, right? So it's, it's it's the best two drop in the game. Yeah, activating this is absolutely amazing. But you've only really got fairy dragon and twilight drake that are playable cards with it, I think. Unless you can play some sort the, of the thing is, it doesn't work with call to arms. So you would play this in a control paladin deck. You wouldn't play this in any aggro deck. And but mm, where are the dragons, yeah. dude? Yeah, I mean, there's more dragons. Yeah. Can we play a server? Dragon's tough. If we're forcing the card to work, can we play your server? Yeah, but also curator rotates out. Like, oh man. Yeah, like, there, it's there's still some holes. Like, I mean, Paladin. We still, have, dragons. we still have a lot of cards to be announced for Paladin, right? Do like, we have Primordial Drake? Yeah, you could. We have Primordial, Primordial Drake. State is here. Okay. And so, there's the two year thing I mentioned earlier. We've got a lot of time for. We've got three sets for this set to build on. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe Twilight Drakes and Primordial Drakes, because this card is very good, and with Relling Blade and stuff. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think what Control Paladin is really lacking is a good win condition. Chat's working just... out the three four guy as well. The neutral three four guy. Mm -hmm. That's every condition. Oh, that's everything that dies to every crap and every anti. Hate yeah, the amalgam. The game. Yeah. I mean, we still got what one, two, three, four. It looks like we got still seven cards to be announced for Paladin. So yeah. one of those can be a yeah, dragon. maybe. Be well, maybe a Paladin. Yeah, Paladin just needs that oomph. How I like to call it. You need mm -hmm. like a win condition besides Turian. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because Nizov is rotating out. Pa Paladin, like you can't compete with Gul'dan. You can't compete with Control Warlock with any other Control deck besides Priest right now. And that's the problem with the control decks. This is also the problem of control warrior right now. You just can't compete. You have to play like middle warrior, dead man's hand warrior. Like a normal control paladin. This you would play this card only in control paladin. Like you can't play it in yeah. aggro. So but control paladin needs that win condition to compete with other control Yeah, decks. you've got the death knight. Uh, I think the combo goes as well. So you've just got the death knight slowly making two two horsemen. Yeah, but the, the but the, yeah, yeah, but Beardo rotates out, yeah, the OTK. Well, it's yeah. also, it would be just this this doesn't have to be control i mean we, we could just be talking mid-range tempo type of paladin mid-range like, tempo paladin. i mean, I mean play this it, but, play the three but, four yeah. guy play twilight drake but then you'd rather play drake call to play. arms <laughs> you know it's like right. the best maybe i mean paladin. yeah i mean there there could be an option that that's just as strong or, or it's something that's strong like where maybe some power cards come around in in five six maybe it's a spiteful deck i don't know like there's I mean, Spiteful was being played with what Dino Size and Spike Ridge Steed, Spike Ridge. I think, at the time. You know, just at least get some. And also Call to Arms. And Call to Arms. thing about this card, it's yeah. not even a dragon itself. So even when you play two in your deck, you're not helping your dragon count. I know. That's that's the thing. Like, I don't like these cards that are. I, I wish they were synergistic, a bit more synergistic. It's yeah. kind of like that Priest card that was synergistic with Beast, but it wasn't a Beast itself. It's like, uh, I kind of wish it was. Or It's um, a good card. Hmm. This card, yeah. If if there it's, is support behind it, it's definitely a good card. It's a this, this is probably a good card when we get the third set of the rotation. 
Yeah. When okay. the, the sets the pool size is bigger, there'll be a dragon or two hanging around somewhere. When when Paladin gets dragon into operative two. Cool two arms have been nerfed. <laughs> Duskwood operative. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, that, whenever that comes out. Um, okay, next we got Sound the Bells. Two mana common echo give plus two or plus one plus two to a minion so this has one purpose and one purpose only for me <laughs> and that's to make the quest people have another chance <laughs> i got a chance i got a chance yeah people who finish their quest deck and realize it didn't work that's can try again isn't that the win condition you're looking for gara this, this is Good. it <laughs> All I think is Milhouse Mana Storm gets worse and worse with every expansion, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that would be insane. Yes, yes, that'd be insane. Milhouse would be amazing. Oh. And, and you can just, with Paladin, you can just hero power, so you have guaranteed an infinite it's, stat minion. It's broken. Oh my god, that, that's a toast video. <laughs> waiting APM that is a toast video tomorrow. You can do this. Oh it will be god. as big as you can do in the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is yeah, only the rope that stops you. Only the rope. <laughs> yeah, only the rope and, oh man, can you imagine doing that and then you Lanessa after that? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna get two of these back. You kill it once. Oh, I'll just play Lanessa. I get it right back. <laughs> oh my god. That's, That's toast in business for the next exactly, month. Exactly. Exactly. This cut seems good. That's pretty sick, actually. Yeah. Is, but it, buff it, yeah, is it broken? Because of Lanessa. It's actually broken, right? Like with. <laughs> with Millhouse? <laughs> I don't think I'm Millhouse. Nobody plays Millhouse. Yeah, but Millhouse gets worse, worse and worse. <laughs> Millhouse gets worse and worse. Oh, man. I mean, joking oh, aside, yeah. we're going to have to look at the quest again. I don't think it's going to work, but we, we, nah, we'll have to revisit the, quest... the quest and just make sure. Because you can do this three times on turn six, make your quest. That's yeah, a lot oh. of the quest done. It could. Yeah, it quest could. actually got a lot of cards, right? Lanissa also works for the quest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. You so could just we need to look, at least take a look at the quest, see if it works. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the quest is a little RNG to it too, right? Whether it's actually a finisher or not, but right. The problem um, with the quest is you only have to get through a three nine void lord and his friends to win the game. Otherwise, your thing just bounces off it anyway. Yeah, it bounces off it, or but, I mean, there's scream, there's. There's all kinds it, of ways is, to like send it that, or kill it. What is it, interesting right? about this card is that you can split it. You know, buffing different minions on the board seems extremely powerful. Mm -hmm. And then okay, you yeah. get value traits in. I think this card is good because it scales into late game. In in the early game, if you have a good one drop, let's say a squire, you buff a squire with this, then you have a two free with divine shield, pretty good. You trade it in, and in mid game or late game, it's still a good card. There's very few cards that scale into late game that are good in an early game. Yeah, and sure. like th That's this is point. how the stones work, like the spell stones. This is why they are like all played, because they scale into late game. You can buff them and they get better and better. And I think yeah, plus five plus reason. ten when you top deck it as your only card on turn ten is actually okay, isn't it? There, there's yeah. some uh, there's some other cards that kind of get value. Like there's a one card that gives you these spells back, right? Like help with the, the whole quest, and then Vorax isn't terrible too. With these type of cards, you know, like if you cast it on that and you, you, it, that it gets it yeah, too, yeah. Good. So there's, it's interesting. It's definitely interesting having, I mean, the biggest issue before with these kind of buff cards in Paladin is that it only happens once, right? So using card, yeah. you know, using a slot in your deck for this kind of like single, like a very one dimensional type of thing was terrible. Like it, you just have to have multi-dimension to it. Now with Echo, I mean, you literally have, like this card is really five cards, like on turn 10, right? And so sure. it's... It's awesome. That's why I love this echo design. It's so efficient, like the way that they. And and for Lanissa, it's also insane, right? The more you get to play this card, mm -hmm. the bigger Lanissa gets as well. Yeah, yeah. So, um, the... kind of interesting. I don't know if it's a very dependable, you know, finishing finisher for Paladin, but the value is there I mean, for sure. Compared to Dark Conviction, which I know is used for killing giants and stuff, but. In terms of an What's aggressive, what does conviction unit. do again? I forget. What does it do? It turns a thing into a three-three, so you oh, use it on the right. but right. people do use it on their own stuff. Yeah, Just and I think, yeah. and I think the cheaper an echo card, the better it is as well, because the more often you can actually mm -hmm. echo it, yeah, or copy it. Yeah. So I would say a two mana echo card is by default much better than a equivalent four mana echo card. Yeah, sure. you know, three mana. I like that the the health is more too. It's going to stick around. It's going to be better, have a better chance to stick around to whatever it buffs. Um, okay, well, let's move on to, I think it's, no, what? What? 
Oh my god. <coughs> I think what, what happened is that warlocks yeah. just vanished and priests just vanished off the what? face of the earth. And yeah, we don't need to talk about these two classes. Dude, I, okay, so I need to... I apparently didn't add the priest card, so I'm going to have to add them like right now. So, um, okay. give me a second. They're interesting as well. And the warlock cards. So. Yeah, I, I mean, okay, so Camellios is first. Like, Camellios, I think, is really good. Um, Gar, you mind reading this out while I get the other ones here? Camellios. It's one mana, one, one beast. <laughs> What? Oh, that's okay. so funny. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I thought you were only gonna read the name and be done with it. I was like, uh, okay. Yep, keep going, keep going, sorry. It should this is in your hand, transform it into a card your opponent is holding. And I saw like Zet a lot. Mm -hmm. He's like a very famous priest yep. player. Yep. Everyone knows about him. He was super excited about this card. Oh, yeah. And it's usually a good sign. <laughs> um yeah, interesting card, right? Um I wonder if you would keep it in the mulligan, you know, so. it's, it's, this, it's, uh, it depends on the format, right? Um, on ladder, I think you keep it like, we're going to have to learn how to put value on information for the first time, the first Dude. real time. Yeah. Like what is information worth in Hearthstone? How much mana is knowing things actually worth? And that would change from format to format. And I don't think it's possible to put the mana value on that. Um, I think that. Oh, th this is this is no question my favorite card in the in the um it's the entire best, expansion. It's a great card. It's no question. Rules. It's like and I think it's playable too. Yeah, it it changes the game, like in, in my opinion, or at least the way you know people look at at cards or an individual mm -hmm. card or what what uh, how a card can be used. And you know we've seen like very mild versions of the the um the flavor of this. Like we've seen Glimmer Root, right? Um, but I wouldn't say people use Glimmer Root from the standpoint of like knowing what their your opponent has in their hand, you know, or yeah, or mindy steel. Yeah, it's cool. like okay, you know, spiteful. It's like okay, I know he still has a mind control in his deck. You know, they're very, yeah. very like minute versions of this. This is a next level type of thing. This like literally tells you what he's holding in his hand like right now, and you don't have to. And then, uh, you know, you, you can just leave it. It can just be infinite. Like you can you can get yeah. 10 turns worth of information and eventually it turns into their minion whatever they're playing it's going to turn into something like a yeti right and that's point. like bonus i mean that you know it's like yeah i would it's have maybe taken this for a one one <laughs> yeah like I, it would have been even intriguing if it was just a one mana one one straight up but on top of that you get what you know you can actually you have the versatility of choosing it to use in a tempo fashion or, or in a value fat you know value way so this card is crazy good <laughs> in my opinion um it's just it doesn't it's not like very obvious from a tempo minded you know hearthstone player that this is is going to be playable or not but man i, I hope I think there's an amazing. effect that tells your opponent that it's in your hand when it changes so they know that you're being spied on but that, otherwise you, that... this whole thing you're playing is priest you don't even know if they know your cards or not it's like i'd like to you at know... least know if they know my cards you know what's actually what is overlooked i think with a card like this is a very crazy phenomenon in Hearthstone is, is that every deck has usually also the counter cards to their deck played in their own deck. Mm -hmm. Like for example, a Warlock deck or Control Warlock deck has usually Ooze and mm -hmm. yep. uh, Spell Breakers and whatnot. Mages oftentimes play Secret Eater and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Yep. It's very funny. Like Hunter plays Flare. Yep. <laughs> it, yeah. It's it's in like in the history of Harsh, it was always like that, which is kind of funny, right? And a card like this could be super powerful. Like you can get really against every deck the counter against them. And I don't think it's bad versus aggro. I think this is the most important thing. If this card is good versus aggro, and if you keep this in your hand and you play against aggro paladin and you go first and you get a one drop, going first, it's like you, it's good. It's playable. Yeah, I mean, and it, it if you get something greedy, yeah. yeah. Like, let's think about it. Like, wait, draconic operative rotates out, but in a mirror, getting another operative, that's insane. Like another yeah. one. Yeah, so and, like, like you said, the worst case is not that bad. I mean, worst case, maybe you get a 1-1 one, one, taunt with Divine Shield. You know, it's like, right, I just think that's 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 not that. Vector, and now your controlling deck has just bought itself two turns. There's definitely some RNG aspect to it. I think you could copy the same card multiple turns in a row. Yeah. That would be quite well, No, I, I think... Well, unless they have two of them, but I think you could be alternating between the same two cards over and over again, 
And I, I, I believe, I don't think you can turn into the same card twice in a row. Why not? I think it could. Is it? Right? Is that is that how it works? Yeah, I'm guessing you can have the same card twice. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So there, there is that, that element but... to it. I thought it would just flip to something different, so maybe it would flip between two cards. But, um, yeah, so there's a little bit of element of that. Yeah, right. that's... It's a really bad top deck if they're all in. Yeah, it's a bad top deck. Yeah. It, it, Another it, thing is, what is I struggle it? with right now with Control Priest is to make room in my deck. Oh, yeah, but... that's bad. But like the uh, the dragons rotate out, right? So you, I think in control priest you will. I feel like you will have room. Oh, I think uh, you have room. Like I mean, I think you can get rid of yeah, one of the flex something. the flex spots for this. It's going to be worth it. I mean, it's definitely. It, you I think know this is spot. this card is better for good players. For I sure, think. pro. The, the, it's yeah. exciting in the pro scene, in my opinion. Um, I mean, in some ways, it's like it might take a, a little bit away from like these very high skill scenarios and appreciating, you know, how good the pros are in those situations, because all of a sudden, it, you know, there won't be this element of, of guessing, you know, or, or making well, educated guesses. Um, flip that on its head, say that like you've got two cards in hand and you know one is X. Maybe you can deduce Y from how they play because they know they haven't played this card. Okay. Maybe they can actually work but, out more that way. Now that I think about it, like a little bit more, this actually, like, if you play control priest, you play this card. There's cards that the opponent will be holding, like that, like that man's hand will hold a dead man's hand, where it will hold dead man's hand for a yeah. long time in his hand. Mm -hmm. and if you get to copy that, that's insane. And Rin in control warlock, mm -hmm. like if he draws it, he will hold it till he can kill it himself. So there's a good, and if you get Rin copied, that's game winning. Same goes for dead man's. Like the men's hand. And, and that actually goes back to the information thing. If you copy Rin on, say, turn seven, you know they haven't got Dark Pact because they would have played it and yeah. killed it. Yeah. And you can play it yourself. And you know that he has Rin. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. All these things. Yeah. 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 Exactly. You can get Gul'dan. You could get, I mean, Gul'dan by itself isn't that great, but you could even get any of the Death Knights. So it's. I don't know. Like, like I said, the fact that it copies something is is what makes it just a no brainer. But it was already intriguing from the fact that it could literally spy on somebody for and people for are turns. usually not playing bad cards. Mm -hmm. it's not yeah, like they're not. Nobody's playing bad cards. What do you mean? <laughs> Nobody plays you don't bad cards you anymore in our stuff. You card. <laughs> Jane is still good, even if she's not in your priest yeah, normally, like, which is not a priest card. Yeah, this is like power creep stone, man. Like, there's no bad cards that exist. What are you talking yeah. about? <laughs> Index. So you're not gonna <laughs> copy some freaking fairy dragons, which will never play. <laughs> no, that will not happen. Well, that only happens in arena. <laughs> arena, this card will, will probably not be great. But uh, oh, in yeah. standard, yeah, this this will be amazing. Oh, maybe even in arena, it's good. I don't know. No, I don't think so. I don't think the. Think? Yeah, because like the, I don't think the you know synergy and or at least the win conditions are are very focused in arena you know okay. like it's, it's very value centric so or at See least to the cards then play a yeti on four <laughs> seems all right it's not that old <laughs> not that old of arena but yeah uh see next card we got here is holy water five mana rare spell deal four damage to a minion if that kills it add a copy to it uh, add a copy of it to your hand okay so it seems too slow right yeah this is like this is kind of like um, Tentacle of Arms level, you know, where it's just like, it's a very yeah. weak power, but the fact that it can regenerate itself is why it costs what it does. Wait, do you get a copy of this Holy Water or a copy no, of the No, there's a spell that you kill the minion. Oh, okay, right. so it's not this spell. Okay, so it's, it's just so, what you kill. Oh. Yeah. All right, so if that's So you get something case... that's half the time is probably useless oh, to your deck. Oh, right, 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 anyway. right, right, right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, if it, was, if it was Tentacle to Arms, I'd be saying maybe this is just about playable, right? But it's I think very it's just... good because you get it back. It's very good. Priest has oftentimes just nothing to do. Like, in the history of Priest, it's like you have these... I have nine cards in hand, hero power pass turns. But and do we have... want another card in our hand? Do we want to get there four or five in our hand that we just killed with this? Do I think... No, wait, wait. No, do we... <laughs> Are you sure you get holy water back or the minion? No, I, I think you get the minion. But I no, no, you I get thought. the minion. You kill. That, that's how it's Are you worded. sure? Yeah, deal four sure damage to a minion. If if that kills it, add a copy of it to your hand. Okay. Yeah, assuming they're the yeah. same. It. Yeah, it. Right. It kills minion. it, which is the the target. Then you get it back. Yeah. So you get you get the minion back, which which kind of makes sense. It it kind of yeah. feels like a a priest like card when you do that. Yeah. Which um, is 
it's like a weak violence portal sort of because yes. mm-hmm. instead of yeah. but you get a good card usually because you yeah. kill a good minion it's and you fire have, portal, it's fire portal is a million times better like it's not even because you you don't yeah. you, you don't you don't get it summoned you actually have to you know it goes to your hand right yeah so but you have to play it again it deals one less damage for two less mana and you get a good minion like fire portal is heavy rng especially right now you get a yeah. lot of bad minions not every minion you get is bad. And if you get a bad minion, Fire Spot is quite bad. And if you get an actual good minion, and you can like choose which minion you want. Yeah. Or which minion you get. It's like in terms of value, it's very good. And Priest I doesn't have draconic operative. I don't disagree with that. I just think it might be way too slow in a, a real functioning deck. Yeah. In a you know, I could see it maybe in one of those big priests and even in those car you know, in those type of decks, it's it's like, what would I drop, you know, like to, to play a card like this? Actually, that's interesting because yeah. in a big priest sword deck, we haven't got barns, so I guess that's kind of weird discussion. But mm, yeah. in that sort of deck, actually having a minion would be a bonus because you can't put the minions in your deck. So maybe it functions in that mm. sort of deck. It's, yeah, it, it, uh, it's it's kind of an interesting design. I just don't know how, how great it is. Maybe it's good in arena. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Four, four damage at five mana? Dude, yeah. it's ridiculous in arena okay yeah, it's ridiculous in arena. okay cool. you, you kill something you get a minion in arena yeah. which is all about value is yeah, yeah. and card va- card power is really important too yeah my, my only concern um, with the card is you never get to play the minion you kill because you're too busy doing whatever your deck's supposed to be doing and you don't really have time to fit in this weird three seven thing you just <laughs> yeah yeah okay moving on six mana lady in white i love this art this art's really cool um, legendary five five oh, battle cry. By the way, I, I want to yeah. s- say s- tell something okay. because yeah. this is actually the first time priest actually gets a, a deal a certain amount of damage. Priest was always like deal every minion with less than two attack. Deal like oh well no holy with, fire right yeah. holy fires yeah yeah but holy fire is like six mana <laughs> okay like, yes. besides that no priest can actually kill like animal companion yes. or like four attack minions for the first time with mm-hmm. just a card that deals damage. Yeah, like, instead yeah, it's of waiting for. Instead of waiting for Dragonfire or something, yeah, yeah, that's definitely nice. So um, it could be that yeah. that is a big deal. Mm-hmm. Okay, Lady in White, uh, six mana, five five, legendary battle cry, cast Inner Fire on every minion in your deck. So set attack equal to health. So um, you know things every like Primordial Drake. Card. This is great. You know, like it's it's one of those things where do you really want to deck build around one card <laughs> you know so it's i think every it's, time we look at it i just yeah. put it down in value it's i've suddenly come to conclude it looks amazing when you first look at it and the more you look the more it doesn't really do anything i think it's i don't know i, I think it feels a little bit like well you know it feels a little like hell said feel there's an element to it it's, it's just an incremental increase to, to like a limited number it's not a Kelly set that's just like a large mm-hmm. amount of cards this would be a limited number of cards but you know you kind of get it so it's kind of like a buff paladin card you know that that sort of thing um i think it's I very know. interesting about this card is how split opinion about people are yeah it's this is the most split opinion i've i've ever seen half of the but, people say it's not as good as you think and half of the people are saying this card is completely insane I've deliberately kept away from most people's views <laughs> before this show, just so I wouldn't be biased too much. Right, yeah, me too. I haven't looked at anybody's uh, but, um, views. So I think the words "inner fire" get everybody thinking. Oh my god, it's amazing! But I think it's insane. Inner fire is cast after buffing a load of stuff. Oh, you think it's insane? I think it's insane. I, I think... think it's absolutely insane. But it's draw I... RNG. Like if you play a mirror and I draw it and you don't, I will win the game. I agree with that entirely. It, it makes all my clerics like free free minions. It's just so many priest has just so many garbage minions. Imagine like Stonehill defenders suddenly becoming four fours. Oh, that's a good one. Clerics yeah. becoming free frees. It doesn't matter. Like I think people are too hang up on like combo or whatever. Just regular guys, guys. minions. Twelve twelve Yuseras, man. Twelve twelve Malagas. Like, I mean, priest like... of the feast being a six six. Six six. Priest of the feast being six six. How do you see the rest of the deck going? Because I see this as a fairly weak turn six going into probably quite a weak turn seven until you actually start setting up your draws. But, but the thing is with Priest, Priest is very good at controlling the board. Probably the best class in the game right now besides Warlock at removing stuff. But you don't really have a win condition. With this, you buff up every garbage minion in your deck, you would just win. It's... Are you consistent enough with it? Like, can you make oh, yeah. the deck win if this is card 28? So 
Could we just throw this card? Forget like really abusing like some of these minions. Could we just throw this card into a spiteful priest, and all of a sudden it just—that's what like, I'm thinking. Just, just <laughs> like you literally just drop one card, throw this card in, spiteful priest. Yeah, just play there it. You go. <laughs> like some of those cards got get upgraded along the way, and that that's already a pretty good base. Yeah. So yeah, I, I know I'm 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 feeling you there. I'm definitely feeling you there. I think you can. Yeah, I think you can. Like, you will definitely play a little bit around it. You know play a bunch of high health minions but you don't have to focus your entire deck it, it's it's an enhancer it's not a, a a card you build completely around so it, even just the incremental enhancements to to you know like half of the cards is really good it's like a keloseth you know it gives even plus yeah. one plus one to it it's like great so um are you okay with five five for six on turn six you okay with that? i think it's okay but after yeah. i've played my spy it's, it's not a great yeah, turn six. it's fine <laughs> Yeah, yeah, compared to the Shaman card, which was a 4-4, four, four, I think it's much better. Yeah. Six mana 4-4 four, four felt really unplayable. But six mana 5-5, five, five, it really it depends on what like people play. Lot, right? so. Yeah, yeah. It's an intriguing it, card. Uh, it's a good, honestly, of, it's a good uh, card uh, if it, there's a split you know, there's there's a split in the middle. That's a good Oftentimes it comes down to the average stats of what people play in minions. And for mm -hmm. example, if you have a rush meta, where everyone plays rush minions, then the average stat is way higher. Then a six mana five five could be complete garbage. For example, yeah. Yeah, agreed. For example, back in the days, we played like five mana five fives because they destroyed Azure Drakes. And yeah, it really comes down to what, what, what kind of five drops people are playing. If everyone is playing five mana five sixes, then this card is very bad. Yeah. Like I mean, I want this against Control Warlock, right? I just want this in my 4 8 Primordial Drake Control Yasira deck, sure. But I'm not so sure I want this against Agro Paladin. Dude, even like Obsidian, like Obsidian Statue would be an 8 8. <laughs> yeah, oh it's just, yeah, it's Sarah, it's you like, play it for the I mean, the effect is insane. Yeah, I'm not arguing that. I just think yeah. that maybe it takes place too slowly, and so it's going to have to go in a very specific deck. I just think the priest I, can. I don't even get think there. it's specific. I think this card can be just a general add to to some decks, and it's just like enhances it. Just I made this mistake with Blackguard, so I'm going the other way this oh, time. Oh, Blackguard! Black yeah, oh, okay. the best card ever. Right, right. <laughs> it turns out there's just better six I, drops in the same class. I think this has got better six drops in Spite Falls, and I don't think you can play both. Yeah. I don't think it's the best card ever, but I think it, it clearly will enhance certain some decks. And it's know, a cool card. Yeah, it's definitely a cool card. Yes. I, Okay, so let's switch over to a different class, which is uh, Shaman. And we only have one card here. We only had one card for Shaman and one card for Mage. I didn't actually realize that until I, I started grouping these. But um, this is a seven mana. And oh, if you didn't, if you didn't see um, Patras reveal, by the way, that was actually hilarious with this box shaper. Uh, four, eight, elemental, epic. Whenever you cast a spell, draw a minion from your deck. So it's um, nothing too unique about this design we've seen stuff like this before right um it's meant to work with hagatha right you, there's synergy yeah there's this kind of cross synergy right where you can power each other <laughs> type of thing um but you know four eight it's pretty small body it's like kind of yeah. under you know static it's at least it's eight health because this is the kind of card you want to survive um but then you have to play the spells with it so like, you're basically just forced to play spells with it and I'm, I'm assuming you're going to want to play like removal spells alongside of this. And then it's just like, you know, draw a minion from your deck. So, you know, the, the tempo implement implications aren't, aren't going to be favorable for you. I, I don't think, uh, so I don't, I don't know. It's an elemental. That's something. That's also something. Do we stick like so, the ancestrals on it and make it so it comes back to life and keep it from dying and keep bringing it back to life? Some sort of crazy cyclic control it, the, mess the only issue i have with that is it, it's it's not one of these mechanics that are infinite in terms of like the cards you sure. can draw it, this is like limited to this like the spells you have in your hand and then you'll run out and that's all the minions you can draw so yeah. it's i wish it was something like that many minions. Yeah. yeah i wish it was like lyra I think, basically i think also elementals get much much weaker when the jades rotate out um because of um, spirit. Because you played Jade Elemental Shaman. It's like... still it's still okay though if you've played just straight yeah. elemental. I think it's still but pretty strong. But Shaman needs is cheap cards, not expensive cards. Shaman has like yeah. Blaze Callers already, and the other seven drop the what is it called the, the Elemental Crusher, whatever. Yeah. Card. Um, like you have yeah. Kalimos. Kalimos too. Yeah. And you have Kalim You have a lot of expensive elementals already. You want cheap elementals. Like you have also the this 
the guy that spawns two taunt jabronis. Yeah. <laughs> jabronis. And the, it, it costs, all costs seven mana. And then you have yeah. like another guy that costs seven mana. Some, that's, I well, know, I mean, the elemental mean. decks that curves really well. Like, there, there's, there's something at every spot for elemental. So it's a matter yeah, remember of just, like, one, it was an elemental shaman. That's yeah. it forever. But is this better <laughs> it's than I mean, yeah. But you're also not running out of cards if you run Servant of Kalimos. I don't think you run out of minions in an elemental shaman deck. Yeah. You don't want to play like a an expensive elemental that draws you elementals for spells that you cut. Yeah. I don't think you want that in the deck. Yeah. And it's a tempo deck as well. This is an anti-tempo card. Yeah, this is yeah. this is a control type of card. Yeah, it's it's hard to see where this fits in. Yeah. Um, I mean, this would have been great if it was priest and was, there's a lady in the water, like in the in white for this card too. <laughs> but there's nothing like that for this guy. And uh, you know, like I, I've already, you know, think about Hagatha and thinking about those spells. You know, it's, it's kind of hard for me to imagine actually having like a, a lot of those spells in the deck already that are cheap. Like none of those spells are cheap. Volcano and, and all those kind of, and, and rain might be even the, the cheapest one. Um, it, yeah, but there's, yeah, there's nothing that's going to, to allow you to chain very well with this. So um, it's gonna be, I don't know, it's kind of rough. It'd be nice if this was, this kind of text happened for um, Rogue. You know, we kind of see that thing happen before for Rogue and, and or just even with Auctioneer right now. So it, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's not gonna have the same effect for a Shaman in my opinion. Yep, I can't make a case. I've been trying to make a case for some <laughs> other cards, but no. Sorry, yep. Bog Shaver. <laughs> Sorry, Bog Shaver. <laughs> uh, okay, next up we've got Rogue and... Very, very quickly on Bog Shaper, actually. Yeah. It looks like it might be a test case. Like we talked about Miss Caller turning into Lady, and we've talked about other okay. cards getting better. Sure. Maybe this is one that in the future we see as a better card. Yeah, I can see that. Rogue. Okay, so we've got a two mana cheap shot. So they get their chance at an echo spell here. Common. Uh, echo deal two damage to a minion. So all right, Rogue is the class, right? Uh, we in, in terms of being able to cast multiple, you know, cheap spells multiple times. I think Rogue is is the one that that has the the um the most ways to at least abuse this. So um, whether it's like Edwin or it's Auctioneer or combo just generally i mean this is this is the class to do it so what do you guys think of this echo card also to me it looks it looks extremely weak rook really? is like some of the best removals mm -hmm. cards single target removal cards in the game by far like you have wild spine slayers you have backsteps you have eviscerates mm -hmm. i don't think even in a miracle rook deck you would ever play a card like this i think i, I just don't see it I found this one really, really difficult to evaluate, actually, because everything Gara just said makes a lot of sense. But there's still the part of it that just says Gadget Sand, wipe out boards, turn 10. But do you wipe everything. out boards? You can prep it once, and then you, you can. It costs two mana for two damage. You will never do that. Sure. You can't wipe out boards. It's just like, late game, you're just safe against everything. Are you? It, it, it's too much. It's like, okay, 10 mana. So if they make a big guy, way. kill it. If they make a load of little guys, you just kill them all. But early game, I can see this is terrible. And Rogue needs that early game. So I'm really struggling to come to a coherent decision on this one. I mean, what if it was just like, I don't know, some some type of like Malagus Rogue where, you know, you wanted to live like one turn and then you just go to town with this after the Malagus lives one turn. I mean, you just win the game, right? So it's only minions, but yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I actually think this card is. I I, I wouldn't say it's Malibus broken and good or anything like. I, I just I just think that this card is going to fit somewhere for Rogue. I think yeah. Um, I, I feel like you do. I think Chairman. But yeah. what Gara says is with still holds is that there's always a better choice for for most. Yeah. Decks, that, for example, Rogue has yeah. It's for okay against cheap minions. You use like backsteps. You use eviscerates. You use like your SI seven agent. You have already like cards for specific yeah. situation yeah. against expensive minions you have sap you have like uh you have wild spine slayers what do you want to actually kill with it what about what about shares in and and stuff like that uh where you know like being able to cast you know just having more cards that that just allow you to to cast you know in a turn to to um summon that egg and 
or just crack the, the egg. Problem is, yeah. The problem is also it, it can only hit the minion. It can't go face. So you're uh, also limited. Yeah, that's true. That as well. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So the Malagas example doesn't even work. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, so it's, it's a minion. Garbage. Yeah, that's, that makes it worse for sure. Um, oh, I, I forgot that there's actually two new cards too that... that um, uh, Savit's release, so oh, I'll I'm try to add it to this as I'm I'm doing <clears> this. <throat> but the next one is Cursed Castaway, rare card, six mana, five three pirate, rush, battle cry, draw or sorry, death rattle, draw a combo card from your deck. Okay, so this allows you to draw a specific combo card. There's a lot of combo cards in in Rogue, so um, question is is like, is there a specific combo card you're looking for? I mean, Elven Minstrel is the one that springs to mind. Yeah, draw a card that draws a card. Yep, <laughs> draws two uh, cards. Yeah, I feel that this having this three health total just makes it prohibitively bad. I'd just rather play a vile spine, and have a thing live on the board and kill their minion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's too expensive for six mana. Yeah, one of the three numbers needs changing. <laughs> Has there ever been a good six mana five three card? I mean. I don't think we haven't had too many five three cards. And it's so also it's, random. That's a problem, right? Like you can just get an SI seven agent and I think him. if you play it, you make it so it's not random. Yeah. It, it's in a deck where there's only two Elven Minstrels or something like that and it just and doesn't make the cut. Yeah, it's no. it's just I just don't think it's good enough. Yeah, I don't think so either. Uh, okay, and Rook, yeah, Rook has like Rook had so many insane cards that you didn't see that didn't see play. You really have to keep that in mind. Like, but people went like, "Wow, crazy!" You know, like the 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 guy that get had like Beth Cry Death Rattle, give you like a potion, stuff yeah. like that, which was in on paper insane for Miracle Rook, and then people ended up not even playing it in Miracle Rook. It, it changed like, Shuriken or whatever it is. Didn't even <laughs> let you play a Jade. Yeah. Deck. Well, you did, but it was like very fringe, absolute. <laughs> it's terrible. Most yeah. polite. Like Rook has yeah. good cards that don't even. See yeah, them. yeah. All right, let's let's get moving a little bit now. <laughs> let's see, uh, Mist Ra yeah, Mist Wraith. Four mana, three five. Whenever you play an echo card, gain plus one, plus one. Okay, so this is it's kind of cheap shot helps us out too, you know, right? Um, yeah. I don't know if you get like a lot of cards until it's like late game, so you can buff this up to you know a five seven or something. But well, if you've got an echo card, mm -hmm. you only need one. You can pew, yeah. pew, 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 pew. So if you've got one echo card with it, you play the echo card three or four times in a turn, you're good. Yeah. Um. Let's see. I mean, what's pick pickpocket's also an echo card too, right? So, um, a random card to your hand from your opponent's class. Okay. So uh, there's not an echo card that's one mana, right? It, it, they're all two mana, minimum, right? Not mm. yet. I think so. Okay. So I don't know. This card reminds me of um, I don't know, a little bit of um, un, un, or no, what what's the unbound elemental? You know, like the old school one that you can just sure. buff plus one plus one every time you overload or something. Like I kind of have that feeling with this card. It's like it's right about the same range. You know, obviously it's a little bit more expensive, but it has a little bit more stats too because of it. But it's I don't know if it's going to. I don't feel it will. But if a method develops where there's a lot of three health minions, mm -hmm. then maybe it's good enough. If if the three attack suddenly isn't too bad. <laughs> And you can just dump it on turn four as a bad card. But then you have to play these echo cards. <laughs> like, are these echo no, no, cards think, playable? I mean, pickpocket, pickpocket's a one card win condition, right? Is it? Is it? Yeah. In a, in a war of attrition, it's just a one card win condition. Oh, I see what you mean. So you, you, just you, you draw five cards, right? Game, you draw right? five cards. Yeah. Doesn't matter that they're random. You just win the game. But that's probably more arena based than real game based. Mm -hmm. If if I look at this, it doesn't strike me as a tier one meta deck. I agree entirely, right? Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't even strike me as a tier four man. <laughs> it's like yeah. Mist Rave, Cheap Shot, Pickpocket, I don't know, Kevin. So have we like, had a card that has me stronger than the others? Here's uh Have we so have we had a card <laughs> right, this is gonna... I I think it I think it um it really just depends on what are, are there any other echo cards except for these two? In for now, no. No. But not not Wait, rogue, many... but maybe there's some common ones that. I mean, there's the, yeah, I mean, there's the the taunt guy card. The echo yeah, taunt yeah, guy yeah. Three mana. Oh yeah, yeah, right, like right, right. Oh, Gosh, I don't know. I, I think it's just in a weird spot. Like, yeah, it's yeah. it's it's just it's kind of like free shaman. It's better than free shaman on the power level. 
But it's like it's just <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, you summed you it up. You just said like, nothing. You just said basically there, it's better like. than like a terrible deck. I mean, that, that's like it's I mean, than that's, people I mean, do that's kind of like Beast Street, isn't it? Like it's like they're pushing this new. They're pushing freaking Echo Rogue, right? And this is not very powerful. Like what do? You... But again, they're, like... they're giving people something to play around with. It's not always aimed yeah. at the top decks. They're giving people look. You look at those four cards and take away the cast away. I think, but. I can do some fun stuff with this. I can win my way to rank fifteen, whatever. Um, but, but doesn't it feel like that? It's like it's like this new. I don't know if they push is... it. They they just push. They just put cards that have synergy together, and they let us work out the power levels. And obviously, we look at yeah. cards like this and go. I mean, it, it nah. can... But yeah. then you you get players who go, "Hey, look at all this fun stuff I can do. I can play a mist raid. Now it's a four six. Now it's a five seven. Got two of your cards. Look at this." It's... I mean, I I don't really look at this card i don't really measure this card based on uh, definitely not pickpocket i feel like this card works better with something like a cheap shot or some like one of the maybe neutral minions that actually generates a minion because i can see miss wraith being a strong play like on turn 10 when you can you know remove another minion or two and then you play this mm -hmm. and you, you know you got like a, a six you know you got a six eight on the board or something like that or it's the it's the situation where you you fill the board and you have a six eight to kind of anchor it so um you know those type of plays are, are are pretty decent you know if you have this type of flooding rogue i don't know i'm reaching but like i i can't yeah, see a world just... i can see a world where this is is not if everything's got three if everything's bad. got three health then miss yeah. is worth at least a look but I, i'm reaching yeah. too i agree yeah yeah and, i don't know and anything that you has usually has the word mist in it not mist. a good word to have in the hearthstone in your name because it, it's generally not played uh but anyways, yeah, so yeah, kind of interesting cards. This pickpocket we just talked about, Echo, add a random card to your hand from your opponent's class, two mana. I just don't love that. I mean, they have, like, another card, too, that I think it's, like, synergized. It's just the world's like... worst ultimate infestation, right? Turn 10, draw five random bad cards. Yeah. <laughs> it's like playing, playing two mana to get a random card. That yeah. seems so bad. How yeah. about 10 mana, draw five, though? Random cards yeah. from the opponent's class, which can be completely useless, seems also really bad. Well, but, no, it but seem tournament worthy, but, but how bad is that? But what if you have you play that card in some formats? You have this card though, which I, now, we're you talking, actually, now we're talking now. You you know, rogue weapon that's four <laughs> mana, two, two, spectral cutlass, epic life right. steal. Whenever you play a card from another class, gain plus one durability. So great, you know, so I can not kill their minion again. <laughs> yeah, tell me exactly. more about it. Exactly. So, how about that synergy? Is that enough That's to play? That's such a grim game? card. <laughs> like, even what I can't handle that? this card. It's like <laughs> if oh, this man. would be at least one attack, and then you could OTK someone. Yeah. But durability. Yeah. How much durability does this card need to be good? How, how, like, even if it had infinite uh, durability, how about yeah, would, would you play this? How about three, and the, and the fact that it, it would keep its buffs, and then it would regenerate itself in your deck. <laughs> Maybe we those things that. would actually make it good. Oh boy, wait, we already have a card that does that. So yeah, this this might be the worst card in the set, I think. Oh wait, we have a I mean, we have a, and, and it would wait, and it costs one mana as well. Yeah, it costs one yeah. mana as well. <laughs> yeah, in a bid deck that's completely built around it. That's uh yeah, this is. Yeah, when weird. it comes to rogue weapons, they generally miss, and they they recently hit with one. But man, rogue weapons they have, have be never been like good, man. Games. Yeah. Rogue's cards are designed to work with weapons because of the hero power. Yeah. So if the weapon's even half good, it's really dangerous. But yeah. but Chenman this card is lifesteal. <laughs> yeah. Don't have to play the, the lifesteal card anymore. That's that's nice. Saves you a card. But yeah, not a great card. But um you know, Rogue, I, you know, I, I don't think Rogue's been getting that much love recently. Um they get him to the time, and it's still been in every world championship. I know, know, right? As long as Miracle exists, it's it's still gonna be around. Uh Quick break here. I want to give a shout out to our patrons, the folks that support the show. Always been the foundation. Um, you can go to patreon.com slash value town and make a pledge today if you enjoy the show and want to help us out and help us keep doing the show. But always want to take some time, thank the people that have been doing it for a while. Mike T, our legendary producer. Uh, and then a few others. Mike, uh, Bryce L, Dave C, Devin Y, Paul H, Vincent G, Dan S, Aaron B, Keepa, Greg P, Jeff B, or sorry, Greg B, Jeff B. Eric P F, Brandon T, Gotrix 2, and then Jacob P. Thank you so much, guys, man. You guys are um, always amazing, and um, uh, all the patrons get a chance to partake in the deck of the week that we usually do on Monday nights, too. Uh, we've taken a little break the last couple weeks just because we have the expansion coming out, and we 
we're kind of out of we were out of decks to play so we just you know i just felt like it would be better uh to wait until the expansion comes out but you can partake there and uh yeah just check it out patreon.com slash value time all right getting back to the cards i think we're finally to oh no actually we have warlock cards warlock cards man we this is taking a while to get through all these uh classes they always do yeah it's it's, it's always fun this is definitely a lot of fun. <clears throat> blood witch four mana rare at the start of your turn deal one damage to your hero and it's it's a three six so it's a pretty big body for um a warlock card so, doesn't seem that great but we need the next two cards to really talk about it i think yeah so we're bringing up the next two cards here we've got death web spider which um five mana epic battle cry if your hero took damage this turn gain life steal so four six beast uh pretty good you know, definitely with with life steal, it's definitely pretty solid. Dusk Bat, we've got here, uh, same kind of thing. Three mana, two four beast. Battle cry if your hero took damage. Summon two one one bats. So. So I don't like the Dusk Bat personally. Oh. I think, I, really? I'd like to rule this one out first. Okay. Um, because I think that any time you're in a situation where you can get the bats, the two four body is not good enough. So if you're playing on turn four with a librarian, or playing on turn five and you've already played Blood Witch. By that stage in the game, 2-4 is just not that great anymore, I don't think. Uh, I mean, for sure it's going to be weaker, right? In turn 5, you know, like... So is there a way to hurt myself in... Yeah, with, like, maybe one mana with a coin or something like that? I, I don't... So you're looking at Librarian, that's it? Yeah, Librarian. Well, Librarian's a 2-drop, right? I mean, you can hear it. a one drop. Is it a one drop? Yes, yeah, a one librarian? drop. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, librarian. Two one librarian. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking of the. So you get a two one, two yeah. one ones, and yeah. a two four. I mean, that's it, it works good. also. I think you can also set up the file boards with this later, okay. because you get the one one the yeah the one health and the four health, I and mean, maybe you mm, yeah. That doesn't feel like a great, great type of play though. <laughs> like, would I want to be defiling? If I'm playing a card like this, Matt, that's kind of a... Oh, honestly, this might actually be more like a zoo card. Yeah, because we I think we, it is. we don't get mm-hmm. Councilman, right? And we play the... Yeah, you just flood the board with this. Yeah. At the same turn. You play like Flame Imps and whatnot, and you just... It's pr- very good. Yeah. I think it's good to... Yeah, Flame is another one, right? Flame is a, a really good one to... to yeah, and the two mana card. Okay, that, that's better. That mm-hmm. yourself as well. There are some it's, buff it's... cards too, right? Uh, there's buff Demon, obviously, but... Are there any buff all type of warlock cards yeah. right now? Not warlock cards, but you have like the five mana cobalt jabroni that buffs like two adjacent minions. Yeah, yeah, the, f- plus the two plus two yeah, which the you play. Fungal mancer. Like this, yeah. yeah, the fungal mancer, and I don't know if you play something. Maybe you will play more because you will have blood flood. You know. I mean, if you get the blood witch down, it's auto. It's it auto initiates all of these. So. Yeah, that's yeah. the next thing I want to look at mm-hmm. is is the Death Wave Spider and the Blood Witch. Mm-hmm. How often are we going to go four into five there and it live? Because if we do that, that looks good. Yeah. Like I four, six, Blood- life steal for five is a really good Hearthstone card. I think Blood Witch is really good. Like, yeah, just think about mm-hmm. how often times do minions actually survive multiple turns? Right. I think if any minion survive multiple turns, it's good for you. And one damage to yourself is not that big of a deal. Well, you could use spell like a- stones and things properly then in yeah. races. It's not a huge drawback. Like one damage is not like two damage. Two damage would be insane. That's mm-hmm. a big drawback. But one damage, you can re like Volok has a lot of heal. And yeah, being able to buff spell stones consistently, I think that's a really good card. Yeah. yeah Especially four mana slot is very powerful mana slot. Yeah. That spell stone hasn't been used enough, the warlock one. It's actually yeah. really good. But again, like they have so much. But but now. being able to double buff one spellstone with the same card is mm-hmm. really good. Yeah, yeah, you can still start playing spellstone more aggressively. At the moment, it's just living in control decks. But if you if you start building up a board and just buffing it incidentally, you can actually start using it as a taunt remover and, mm-hmm. and an enabler for lots of other stuff. See, like, like this winning races. Yeah, this kind of stuff feels like a warlock. You know, I, I like I even like it thematically. You know, it's it's yeah. it's definitely good that they're going this direction. No more discard man. No more, please. <laughs> It would have been cool if the quest had something to do with damaging yourself. I'm kind of looking Man, back at it now. Yeah. Can I get more quests? I don't think they've written the quests off. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so... Control I think lock would be so insane. Control lock? 
You think so? Yeah, it's, it just feels like control equipment. So. Yeah. With hellfire and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> okay, we're getting into the neutral cards now. Let's try to move through these a little faster because we're kind of uh, whoops, kind of uh, been taking our time here a bit. But we have a lot of cards, so we haven't really been taking our time. But uh, hopefully, you guys are enjoying our our uh, discussion on it. Eight mana uh, was a Gilnean. Gilnean Royal Guard. Uh, it's a rare card. Three eight Divine Shield Rush. Each turn, this is in your hand. Swap its attack and elf. Ugh. Uh, okay. I guess if it's an A3, it's great. And you can trade into... I think this fits that I'm a new player, my collection is small, and this is actually quite good as an 8-3 removal spell for 8 category, honestly. Okay, yeah. Just just Agreed. a decent <laughs> card that... Like Kraken was the same, North Sea Kraken. It was basically sort of a budget card that actually wasn't awful. North Sea Kraken was good. Like, that, that wasn't even... It, right, but it's still yeah, only sort of fitting too much. I think yeah. I feel this is the same sort of category. This this doesn't look this terrible. Is, this is this gets yeah, your opponents. I, I know stuff. where you're going with it. I mean, if this was an eight three divine shield rush, then I, yeah, I, I would totally be on the same boat with you with, with Kraken. It's just it's a three eight half the time, which is really bad actually. Well, you choose when to play it. Yeah, <laughs> it's great. One. But yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, it's too slow. It's the body. Yeah, it's, it's not a tournament relevant. card, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. All right, next we got five mana Dollmaster Dorian, legendary, 2-6. Whenever you draw a minion, summon a 1-1 one, one copy of it. Uh, I mean, if this card's good, it dies a turn you play it. If it's bad, then it's a 2-6 terrible card anyway. Like, it's, what are you playing it? Up... Like, you play Rogue? You play... Did you play this card... Loot Hoarder dot deck? You play this in, in Druid with Duskfall and Al Aviana, and then you play till you... <laughs> <laughs> and then till you draw yes. Aviana, and then yes. you are the first one to play the zero mana minion. Oh god, that's the true. Yeah, I just think this card has that's to be true. bad. But if it's some sort of loot hoarder thing, that's where you would go with it. But I don't like it. It's like okay, loot hoarder. Then you draw. What do you draw? That's one one. I mean, is it maybe a death loot rattle deck? It's just a, maybe a death of... rattle deck, right? Like that would be pretty yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. And some sort of three card combo Oops. hiding in there. OTK Paladin, except that doesn't work anymore. That sort yeah. of thing. It could be in there. Yeah, it could be some kind of enabler for OTK. Yeah. Can. All right. Uh... Like just different names. But there's no Barnes anymore, so. Like with Barnes, it would be playable, maybe. Maybe. Okay, let's see. Three mana, two one, Raven Caller, Battlecry, add two random one cost minions to your hand. Oof. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I like think th th this is like hag up the material right like yeah unless you're looking yeah. at hunter quest sure yeah hunter quest maybe yeah hunter quest might be you look for tolvirs suddenly okay it's kind of yeah but it's yeah. pretty much like a tolvir um two ones so weak though like it's yeah it's good it's yeah really you better synergize card. with then... playing cards somehow yeah um i mean good i don't want all the neutrals to be op we've just had a lot of neutrals we've seen in every deck just happen once yeah Anything that buffs a one health anymore? Like we lose, we lose the paladin guard, right? Um, the dark shar or the the dark shar? It's what, what's the what, hunter what, thing what? where we play plus three, plus three on it, and then we get five five boars? <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what? Honestly, there could be decks where this card could be playable in in like the odd decks, in the odd even decks, because. Just to fill out curves more consistently. But it's such a... I mean, okay, great. It fills mana, but these cards... I mean, 2-1 sucks like on the board. So, I mean, what what one-cost minion is going to really make that big of an impact? For yeah, you? it's just like, a spell, isn't it? At this yeah. point, yeah. It's funny that on average the one-drops are stronger yeah. than the 2-1. Yeah, yeah. So, I... I mean, it has to synergize bad. with playing... Like, being able to play a card. So, um, yeah. I It's just random one-cost minions. It's... It's kind of tough. Um, yeah, so it would have to be Hunter with one drops and and something. It's like that. only Quest Hunter, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it it's... should be pretty good in Quest Hunter though, because mm -hmm. yeah. they seem to have given a, Quest Hunter a lot of tools. Like I, I think that Quest Hunter the problem will, people Quest will be Hunter trying Quest... Quest Hunter right from day one. But the, the reward sucks. It's really, that's the problem of Quest yeah. Hunter. If you complete the Quest Hunter, curve, it's still bad. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's it, it is it's not it's great, weird. but at least it has some synergy with like. Shaw now, like on Master Shaw, and you can get like maybe a, a, a mini combo there at the very end. But but yeah, it, it's a it's a very strange prize. <laughs> it's 
Uh, okay, next time we got spell shifter, two mana damage, spell damage plus one each turn. This is in your hand. Swap its attack and health. So a lot of the swapping attack health stuff going on here. Um, this one feels like a downside. Some of the yeah. uh, swappy ones feel like it might even be an upside, but on this one, I don't think you want a four one like ever. Mm -hmm. So it feels like a big downside on top of a card that already isn't great. Yeah, the 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 swap effect on this card makes no sense. Why why does it have that effect? Yeah, I don't either. I mean, it, it might have like a back in the day when we had which was that card? The, the arcane card that the one spell, the one mana spell. I mean, the swap is is, is I don't I'm not I don't mind the swap so much, but um, this you know the spell damage is interesting plus one. Yeah, like this could be playable sometimes maybe if it <coughs> would not have the swap, but I think the swap yeah. makes it unplayable. Yeah, it's if you can't worse. play it on curve. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, <laughs> fifty percent of the time. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, next one. Swift Messenger, same kind of deal. Swaps attack and health in each turn. Rush, four mana, two six. So this feels like it's okay in arena. Like, if you want it... Really? Because it, you can use the swap as um, it's do I want to kill one big minion or do I want to kill two small ones? So you get that versatility with it. You could play it to trade into a, like a you know whatever five drop, but. I don't That's know, what I mean, I if like... you want to kill off their army of two twos or whatever they built up, you can actually just use it as a two six, kill one, and it's still there. So, I think the versatility might be underrated on this card. Mm, but in constructed, I... why? Why would you play it? Would you rather have a yeti or this card? Yeah, I think you'd rather have a yeti. Stop! Yeah. Stop spoiling my attempt to make the card. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just think I can't. It looks worse than a yeti on paper. It's, it's worse than a yeti. Than... Yeah. It's definitely worse uh, for me. It's worse than a yeti. Yeah, it's like there's there's. Yeah, it's either weak on the board or it just trades outright, and yeah. I don't know. It can't go not, face. Not, not great. Yeah. Okay. Next. But that's the, uh, I mean, that's something we are gonna have to get used to. Nothing's gonna go face anymore. Feels bad, man. Yeah, feels bad, man. All right, Voodoo Doll, three mana, one one. Battle cry, choose a minion. Death rattle, destroy chosen minion. I like this yeah, card. This card's cool. Uh, yeah. I would play this card. Yeah, the fact that this card targets something, you know, it marks it. I think that that whole design is pretty neat. Because uh, we've had this whole element of eating something and then spitting it out later, or or you know like you you battle crying and get something and then death rattle your opponent gets something, but never never this kind of thing. Five mana kill a thing in mage can't be that bad, right? Yeah. Five mana kill a minion of your choice in mage. But another thing is, it gives actually warlock the, a tool to compensate for the only downside right now. Warlock is very bad at killing giants, I think, right now. Sure. And this is insane with Defile as well. Yeah, you play this in Defile and kill the one thing that doesn't fit the chain. Yeah, exactly. I think uh, buffing control log. I don't know. About this, that. this is this is like the priest spell. <laughs> you know, because the priest has a card that marks somebody, right? But so much better. It's like cheaper. That, that's also it's really an actual minion. Though. I mean, this card because like, it's not a spell. You can do things like Dragon's Fury. You can do. There's reasons to play a minion, not a spell. Sometimes, so this will have have things it can do as well. Oh no no no! no the, the priest one you actually steal, right? So that that's right. actually better. Uh, maybe I'm thinking of corruption or just the uh, um, yeah. the warlock spell. Yeah. So this is kind of like the I warlock mean, spell. A this minion with seems... a spell effect is really powerful in other ways, so you you can bypass certain downsides of other cards. This seems yeah. so insane with Defile, though. Because it does seem funny with Defile. Like, <laughs> because there's like oftentimes one big minion and a bunch of small ones. Yeah. And and yeah. oftentimes they play around Defile by not playing one HP. Right, minions. right. So this is like a full clear, I guess, like a, I mean, any it, board. I mean, isn't that just kind of like a zealot anyways i mean you're going to be doing six no i mean yes you do four damage with a zealot but i think so it's, better. Is, it's better because you get okay. to rid of a big any minion as well like a big mm. big minion i think like it's cool, keep I, yeah i think it's definitely cool though it's it's triggerable yeah, because it's yeah. neutral yeah yeah and then i mean it, it gives your opponent this. like this scenario too where he can choose what to you can kind of control what dies too so it, it, it reminds cool. me a bit of with whirlwind BGH. effect as well mm -hmm. you know bgh was kind of like that you know, it was the remu uh, the neutral hard removal that everyone could play mm -hmm. uh, for meta, but it's like more flexible. You well, kind of... it takes more, it takes a little more skill too in this one because th there there is that added turn, right? So yeah, um, 
Or uh, there could be, an edge it. could be an edge. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, imagine Druid. Yeah, Druid can ref it, draw a card, and yeah. then kill any minion. Druid doesn't have hard removal. So this the, this is neutral is kind of crazy. Yeah. Warrior can play this with Acolyte of Pain and Whirlwind and just well, like. Yeah. It's oh. better than Execute. It's actually better than Execute if you think yeah. about it. it yeah. Is. Yeah, it's true. All right, which is called Rune. 4 <laughs> three man after a friendly minion dies, add a random shaman's spell to your hand. So, and yet another card with added another shaman. Uh, Don't look at me for this hand. one. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 can't I can't judge you. these. I can't judge these shaman cards that give me random shaman like spells. I mean, I guess, it's not I four. Just... Don't, don't we have a four two that does the same thing, and we just run our minions into their thing and draw actual cards from our deck? And it's an epic card. <laughs> Yep. We just spend four hundred dust. But what if you play Cult Master and this? You get double cards. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think I dreams. think Cult Master's fine the compared dreams. to this, but yeah. no. <laughs> Um, no one's random shamans. Yeah. Nobody wants random. Sh like everyone has access yeah. to it, and nobody wants random shaman. It's like all this, like yeah, all this, like draw random shaman cards, and it's just like okay, well, what else do I do with shaman? Like, how does shaman live? Like, <laughs> then you get what do we do? It's like, I'm glad we have this value at the end of shaman games, but what do we do in the meantime? So, um, you know, I can't see playing this in elemental or any anything like that. We'll have to see what what comes about. I but, actually can't see where that card is played ever. Oh, zero four. Yeah, yeah. Right? I mean, it better be like, give me free cards, you know, like the that's next turn. About Mass, at you least know, that's it's like gotta, it's a gotta card. Be, it's got to be play free cards for me the next turn. I mean, you know, like it should be mana tide level. It, it should be and mana tide is almost portal unplayable. level. Like, yeah, this is crazy. Um, uh, okay, next one is Witchwood Grizzly. This is the crazy five mana three twelve oh. beast taunt battle cry. Lose one health to each card in your opponent's hand. Probably the best card in the set. This is sick. It's card. definitely strong. Like sick Imagine card. in Priest. I want to go back to Priest to my beautiful six drop. And then you have this as a 12 12. That's good, man. This is insane. Like, I and mean, even, even the Druid card we talked about, the Druid that re summons this as a 3 12 solid taunt. Like, no, no backdrop. Yeah. This doesn't even need taunt. I know, but just on top of that, you get taunt anyways. <laughs> like, <laughs> yes, throw taunt on top of it. Yes. I mean, it's like. It's like Good night, Silverhand Paladins. Yeah. You know, it's you're not going to be able to do much against the, these type of decks. Like, um, yeah. So this is kind of cool because it's good for Druid. It's it's potentially good for Hunter. It's potentially good for Priest. Um, not universal to every class, but it, those three. I mean, very very viable in those classes. What's like the worst case scenario for this card? Control mirrors. Three seven, three eight. Control sorry. mirrors. Uh, oh, you're talking really about. Oh, you're control talking about. Mirrors. About uh, what? Yeah, you know, playing against it. Yeah, like you, you can't use it to kill your opponent in a in a grindy match because it's gonna be like it's, a three four or something. It's like bog it's creeper on creep. steroids, basically. And not not bog creeper, like um a tar creeper on steroids. Yeah, like it's it's the it's the better version of tar creeper or the the tar lord, right? Is it tar lord? It's yeah, tar lord. Right? Yes, but then you but then you could still save it to like late game where people you know use have to use their resources in yeah, Super I mean, game. There's ways to play bad cards, but yeah, in those situations, it's just going to be kind of... They, they will not always have like nine or ten cards. <laughs> but but this, card, this card by itself is already a combo priest. It's, it's like a minion that's already been buffed. You know, like, it, it's already gotten the Divine Spirit. You only need one <laughs> Divine right. Spirit on this to win the game. Like, so it, it's a really strong, because the priest can heal this up, too. To, to, to you know for whatever lot uh, i mean in the real lost. world though it's it's a three nine a lot i mean three nine is nice stats and so is taunt is it completely insane I mean, it's pretty good at it. three it, nine it for good. five is great yeah it's i'd play good. that yeah, for sure i mean that's basically better than a sludge belcher and sludge belcher was, sure. yeah, okay and we played so, a lot of sludge belcher back in the day yeah one or two still do sometimes yeah, yeah. so yeah that, i think this card's really good it's probably going to be a three eight a lot you like yeah. on curve, but I, um, yeah, I just think that the utility of this thing and just the value in which some of these cards generate with this this guy is crazy. It's like really, really good. So, and the fact it's a beast as well just like mm -hmm. adds for Hunter another level of silliness to it. Yeah, for, the druid. Druid yeah, for druid. You too. resurrect this as a free 12 taunt, <laughs> which is absolutely insane. Yeah, because he's already been there once and killed a load of stuff. You could servitude it, right? You, this bad. is actually a card you could, you would want to servitude potentially, and, and yeah. um, yeah, like compare this to the to the cartoon card, right? It was a four mana four, 
Wait, four ten. The one that got buffed if you play two cartoon cards? What? You had the what? like the the, the the druid cartoon card. That the five got, seven? Like... No 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 the yeah. photo. That required you to play cartoon buff cards. Was it a four ten or four twelve? For I'm yeah. not remembering what card you're talking about. Um... I'm not remembering, but I sort of it exists. <laughs> it exists. The, the, the... What what did it do? Wait. Oh, the, oh, you're talking about the, the the one that added five health. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I know what you're talking. Oh, about. Was it twelve? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. It? yeah. God, I almost forgot it about was, that card. Wow. It yeah. was really strong when you got it off, but it mm -hmm. it required you to play two cartoon buff cards. Well, you almost never got it off on curve. Oh, because I know what of, you mean. because yeah. of that, right? Like you, it was rare that you got it off on curve. Um, yeah. Yeah. So four ten, sure. It's it's. I guess it's kind of like that, but this is guaranteed. Like you don't. Yeah, it's guaranteed. Yeah, you like you don't. You don't have. There's it's any test taunt. Right. <laughs> and what's crazy it's, is that it's like it's so anti-aggro because people are dumping cards right when they're playing aggro. By turn five, they're probably down to three or two cards. Imagine so play this on five and then sp and spreading plague on <laughs> six. <Yeah. laughs> Get out of my game. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So, um, yeah, how yeah. many silences can you run? You can run two silence without ruining an aggro deck at most. They they totally done. shut down the at least pa aggro paladin. Yeah. Aggro paladin. There's been done. so many bad hate cards for aggro paladin, basically. So, um, good. oh, that's it. Those are the last three. Those are the last three. Okay. Well, it's a good one to end on that that Witchwood Grizzly. Um, strong cards, cool cards. You know, like I, I I'm happy that the power level isn't insane. You know, like that we were talking about this a little bit about this pre-show that, um, you know, one thing that we noticed was m maybe the beginning, it's like the beginning of the year, you know, like the first expansion. They didn't want to start off too crazy. You guys think that that played a big role in it? I do, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's, um, and I think a lot of the cards have got a lot of thought going into them as well. So mm -hmm. I think we'll see more of them than maybe First Instinct show just because they have something going on with them all the time. Yeah, agreed. Gar, what do you think? You think this is a good direction? Less powerful cards and you know, just general. Yeah, what I'm always worried about is that if it's a little bit too weak, that it becomes another grand tournament expansion where we just don't play the cards. No, yeah, no, it is like that. Bad. We have that's still bad. Knights of the Frozen Throne and um, the Kobolds expansion, so that we just play like Control Lock and Control Priest just because the new cards are just too weak can't compete with the existing decks, that we just don't play the new cards and then it's completely an irrelevant expansion. And I'm a bit worried that the Echo and Rush, maybe not as much, but the Echo effect will be similar to Inspire. And like we could tell very fast that Inspire is very weak, right? I think as soon as we saw the first Inspire cards, I... we were like, yeah, and this is this is probably gonna hit them, uh, miss the mark. And then we saw so many new Inspire cards, Inspire cards, I mean, knew this this will not work, right? Because you don't want a hero power. We do, you don't have the extra mana. You want to curve out in Hearthstone. And I feel the same with Echo. Like, you don't want to play bad, like, infinite amount of bad cards. So it could be... And they keep releasing Echo cards. So I'm worried that people will just not I play those. I totally disagree with that, actually. I think the Echo I, scales really well. Yeah, right? I think Echo is completely different than Inspire because of the versatility, right? Like, I, I think... You could. I don't necessarily know if it's an uh, um, an innovate or uh, another iteration of like Inspire, but the thing about Echo is that you know it's got the versatility of of hot, like spending mana, right? Inspire you can only do one time, and and designing around this kind of Inspire thing was actually really tough because of it too, you know, because they had to, they had a minion associated with it. So with Echo, I think there's more flexibility in, in how, what they can do with it, and then again, like I was saying before, I think it's just really smart. Because, you know, in, instead of requiring you, you know, we, we have this issue with 30 cards in our, in our decks and always having to figure out, okay, like when you're, when you're going against that, you always have to either keep making these cards even more dynamic and, and adding more, these things do two things now instead of one thing, are they synergized? With Echo, you just create a card that, that could be, a, that's essentially like five cards or three cards or two cards, depending on how much you choose, you know, and, and it helps you fill your your mana, um, your leftover mana, especially when you're you're down in cards. So uh, I I, I, think that, I think it's really good. I, I, I think, think the Echo great. cards are too fair for the way how we play Hearthstone right now. Right now it's all about mana cheating and doing like the most broken thing you can do for the, as, 
as little mana as possible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you play like Skull of the Manari and get a World Lord <coughs> out, you can't be like fair with your get a bunch of free mana two four taunts. It's too fair. Mm -hmm. In well, there, there are definitely cards that were, like, I always make that meme that's 2016 balance, right? Like, it's, you know, definitely way lower power level than, than we've seen recently, but... I think with Echo and Spellstones coming through together, if that's an ongoing thing, then we are going to have a lot of, do you want to save for the future or burn a card now? I think that might be a thing that's going well mm -hmm. overall. Yeah. <clears throat> So yeah, I, I think I, I'm I'm been okay with uh, Echo. You know whether some of these cards are good or not. You know I, th clearly there's sure, some misses. Right. I mean there there has to be some misses, but um, but I think we're we're gonna see some some Echo cards and and um, it's gonna add content to the game too. Instead of having some of these blank turns or these turns where you know you're just waiting to top deck, Echo cards are not bad to top deck. You know Echo cards are actually really good to top deck in a lot of situations. So um, it it helps with that. It, it was also that... always better as turn 10 cards. Mm -hmm. I mean, it mm -hmm. wasn't also that every Inspire effect was bad. There were good Inspire cards. There were, but again, they had to be careful. You know, like, Inspire was obviously limited to the hero power, so the hero power was already a knock against you. So, you know, just having to spend that two mana. So having to design something that takes into account something that's undervalued, it was tough because you, you, you had to balance two things at once. So it, it was it was just weird and I mean we I think the only inspire card that we really played was Thunder Bluff, right? That that was like the I think that was the only thing. Uh was there another inspire card that we played regularly? I think I played a lot of arena back then, so there's quite a few, but mm. in constructed I don't think there were many. Yeah. Wasn't there like Paladin, the Paladin buff card? I think there was a Paladin buff card that when you hear Paladin buffed. Oh really? Okay. Can, oh, there was a, well, there was the monkey. There was. Oh yeah, the Murloc, the Murloc Knight as well. Oh, oh, the Murloc Knight. Yeah, but even the Murloc Knight was just played. Some. I mean, there there was there was a while, I guess. There was like definitely a period where where that was a really strong deck. So, um, yeah. Anyways, point is, is I think it was much harder designing those cards, and you know they they whiffed for the most part in that that expansion. I don't think they're whiffing here. I think I think the very least rush is is solid. And then Echo is is going to, I think Echo is going to surprise some people. Um, okay, why don't we take one or two questions here? We've got Ahmed N, uh, and then we'll kind of close things out. He asked, "Can let's see, can we have a play? What is this? Can we have a play group feature which has data of professional play groups that are shared as discrepancies between data of good and average players?" Wait, man, this is hard to read. <laughs> I should have I should have read this question? first. He usually asks really, really. Uh, uh, I feel that's an HSV question, right? Oh, is it? Okay, maybe can it can is. Can you separate maybe out is. the good from the yeah? Very just, good. just a discrepancy. Yeah. yeah. So, um, is it possible to do? Absolutely, it's possible to do. Um, I mean, I can tell you that we've talked about this feature. We've talked about this kind of like um, I don't know. There's different ways of talking about it, but we've definitely talked about this and. Um, could be something that we do in the future on hsreplay.net. Uh, I don't. I'm not going to promise or say anything exactly as to when we do it, but uh, it is something that's very, very possible. What we have. Uh, there's another question we had here. Oh, top three so far. Mary, Mary G Marv GM asks in the Twitch chat, "What's our top three cards so far that we've seen? Any favorites?" I like the priest one. Yeah. Uh, the priest one was so cool. I like the shaman two drop with the even, but uh, it's like you first have to build a deck around it. Uh, yeah, I, I like the warrior legendary one, the five mana one as well. Which one? That's pretty, which one was the, that? the, the rush, the rush worgen. Oh, the rush worgen. Yeah, which, yeah. The plus which two we one? talked about. Yeah, today. yeah, yeah. It was pretty I like cool. the the one one priest card. Yep, that's by far my favorite. <laughs> uh, the voodoo doll. Voodoo doll, okay. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, that one is super cool. And I know there's the four four seven mana warlock. Let's keep playing control warlock cards. Got to be mentioned. Uh, so I don't know. Oh, man. And, and Dastiana, Dastiana best card. Dastiana is definitely Actually, that's a really not cool card. It's card. Is unplayable. Oh my god. Uh, for me, it's it's going to be Camellios and I, I mean the the last dragon or the last beast we talked about too. Super good, and uh, kind of looking through the rest of them. Man, the Paladin two drop is also cool. I wish it's playable. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of bad it's not. <laughs> God, I think that mm, yeah, maybe those two just for now. I mean, I, I kind of like Hagatha too, but I just 
not sure what we're going to be playing around with with Hagatha. Um, and then let's see, a couple more questions here. Question for Lorinda from Paradox: Which Hearthstone player would be good at cosplaying members of the First Order? So yeah. Paradox looks exactly like General Hux from um, <laughs> Star Wars. So that's why he he's does. asking that question. Well, Gara kind of Gara, Gara looks like an Imperial officer, right? <laughs> Doesn't he? he? Looks kind of like an Imperial. Make go out to be the bad guy here. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, who would I be? I, I could be. Uh, Chirut, I'm one with the forest. The forest is with me. <laughs> the Asian joke. All right, uh, vegetarian stinking. What is your opinion <coughs> on Hearthstone being so effing expensive with multiple expansions a year? <laughs> oh God. All right, last question. <laughs> Do more is quests. it is it really that? I mean, they're giving us more free stuff, guys. I mean, it's you know they're giving us seventy packs for the you know fifty dollars that we buy now they're giving us a free but they've given us a free pack for the last week and a half now for finishing quests um i'm sure we're gonna get like a free eight packs on the first day I, you know like i'm sure we're getting all those things yeah. so it's like uh, talking about the quests i mean i still don't like how the quests are right now like i, I play on free servers and i can refresh only once and i get like the rogue quests and i don't play rogue i don't want to play rogue and then what do i do with these quests i refresh it once like i'm stuck with like rogue quests on all free servers it it doesn't feel better than before you get better rewards but well what do you want random. them to do i mean the, the whole point of the quest is to get you Just, to play the other classes right and stuff so is it? Yeah. yeah i mean it's not aimed at us it's aimed yeah, at yeah it's aimed at like general law free to play etc yeah. so the argument the argument for the dungeon runs was they don't want to they didn't give rewards for dungeon runs because they don't want people to feel forced to play dungeon runs. So why do they want to force people to play classes they don't want to play just to well, I mean dun dungeon runs the, the blood version is if you want free stuff, earn it. <laughs> it's like you can do it in casual, you can do a lot of them against friends, that sort of thing. So I don't think it's that hard to earn it. It's not like they're forcing you to work for your mm -hmm. pack, it's just they want you to experience the game while you're getting your packs and in fairness, a pro player, you know, if you don't want to take out an hour or two to play casual mode rogue, everyone understands that, but they're not really aimed but, at us. We've got the cards to a large degree already. Yeah, it's, I mean, yeah. I, I can, you know, I've definitely experienced it a little bit, you know, as a casual player sometimes where it's like, you know, maybe you don't have time this week, right? But you still mm -hmm. hop on just to finish the quest. And sometimes it's nice to like have something that you normally wouldn't play. And, you know, I just hop on HS Replay to see like, okay, what? You know what what rogue should i play right or or what what shaman should i play here just to finish this quest and you know it, it actually ends up being amusing most of the time when i do it you know it's never totally a, a grind you know it's different when you're like you care a ton about your rank you know and you can't lose yeah. and i mean that there, there's like a total different effect to that you know and so you have to play casual probably right to finish these things um so a lot of the fun for the more casual players is building the collection and building you know, i've got 28 cards i need 100 dust to finish up my xyz deck yeah so you spend two or three games that you don't necessarily want to play earning a pack and then you open your pack and you finish your deck and now you jump back into rank yeah 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 i think it's aimed at those guys yeah so it's something we all have to deal with i mean i do the same thing there's there's times where it's just like oh i don't like that i try to get a new one and so it's still something that sucks and i just have to kind of wait there but the nice thing right now is that you know you you still get i mean i guess well i guess you don't want to queue it up because you you get one a day so how does it work with a quest if you don't finish the quest that day you you get two quests that give you packs right the next day Right? Like, yeah, you like, build it three yeah. and then you have to start Yeah, you have long. to build it three. Yeah. So you, you, you at least have three days to like figure it out. So um, I haven't missed out on any of that. I mean, I don't think you guys have either. But yeah, just part of the part of you know having a game that appeals to a lot of different uh, skill and you know uh, uh, hardcore versus just casual type of thing. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, why don't we wrap up? You know, I said I completely lied, Lorinda. I said that we'd be here for ninety minutes and. Lo and behold, we are past the two-hour mark. I don't know a card and... review that's ever run on time. I know, I know. Ever. No, but I think we did a good job. I think we did a. You had some really good discussion on a lot of these cards. So, hopefully, everybody will uh, enjoy that, and you know, definitely forgive us for going at least too long. There's some people that love long episodes, but um, want to do some shout-outs before we take off, man. Thanks for being on the show. No, I'm just happy to be here. It's been yeah. fun. Give me a follow, I guess, on Twitter, Lavender Games. That's it. That's good for me. All right, cool. Gara? Yeah, shout outs to my Twitter as well, at TempoGara, and also to my stream, twitch.tv slash Shaman, streaming every day. 
Yeah. Tomorrow is my card review. Well, card oh, review. it's hype. Oh, what time 4 is it? PMC, okay, 4, 4 PM. PM CT. Okay, so that's like, it was that's like 10 a.m. I yeah. should remind people. Yes. yes. I should, uh, 6 a.m. I should remind people it's Coco America tomorrow as well as it was two so hours ago we, since you mentioned that. 16 hours from now. Roughly. Right. So we're gonna see a Gara horror horror movie like we've been seeing for a lot of these like <laughs> these car review deals or I didn't a happy do the story. Same thing. Happy story, yeah, yeah. Be be original and not do a horror movie, right? <laughs> um yeah, i think it was funny okay yeah definitely hype yeah T definitely check that out guys it's gonna be uh cool to see what card i'm excited to see what you get it's gonna be a shaman card that'd be that'd be pretty epic <laughs> the shaman card. <coughs> uh, Good spells. exactly um now I'll, I'll round things out thank thanks to you guys for doing the show of course everybody in the chat uh i think a lot a lot of good good comments and everything happening in the chat today about uh, the cards we were talking about and some some of you are providing some information that I'm, you know we might have forgotten so thank you for that you can find the show um, on uh, iTunes as well as Google Play and in soundcloud.com slash uh, just look up Valley Town or look up Hearthstone and you'll see us if you like us leave us a, a five, star, five star review it really helps out and um, you can also find the VODs on youtube.com slash hsreplay.net as well as uh, youtube.com slash chamanv so um, that's going to be it for today, guys. So for Lorinda, Gara, and myself, Chairman V, I'll see you next time. Do you see me? Bye.